how you doing? I'm Cookie McDougal. I used to be Cookie Falcone, wife of Mafia Big Shot Jimmy Falcone. We was living the good life back then, but I didn't know what was going on. And I didn't want to know, because I knew what was going on. Anyway, Jimmy's Uncle Cheech was giving away mob secrets, so it was only a matter of time before he was six feet under. And I've never been one to wait till the last minute. <laughs> He was such a good man. <laughs> I'm gonna miss him so much. Don't put red flowers beside red flowers. What's the matter with you? Poor, poor Cheech. I'll never forget his little laugh. <laughs> what are you doing? You can't put food next to a dead body. Get it out of here. <laughs> oh, Cheech, Cheech, Cheech. <laughs> Wait, get back here. Give me a crab cake. Oh, it's dry! Cook, I got noose. I know, Jimmy. It wasn't your fault. You did everything you could, but Don Gambini is an unbending man. He bent when he hit the pavement, I'll tell you that. These crab cakes are dry. Hey, who died? Holy crap! Cheech, you're alive! I'm so happy! Jimmy, you got the Don to call off the hit? Well, yes and no. Mostly no. See, I threw the Don out a window, everyone wants to whack me, so we're moving to Canada. And that's how we wound up living here in Regina. Regina. Saskatchewan. But if you think living here is gonna change us, you can go f yourself. Forget about it. She meant to say forget about it. Let me tell you something about a friend of ours named Jimmy. I made the wise guy and the capo with the gambini. But when he found out that they'd be whacking Uncle Cheech, he'd take the boss, he threw him from the 19th floor suite. Wasn't much along till the mob all wants him dead. So Jimmy had no choice but to talk to all the feds. The feds would say they helped if they could use him as a pawn. So he ratted out his friends and moved to Saskatchewan. Forget about it. Forget about it. Forget about it. Welcome, my son. How you doing? I'm Jimmy Falcone. Jimmy Falcone? Jimmy Falcone? <laughs> I'm just kidding. You're not on the list. You're so not on the list. Maybe this'll change your mind. Jimmy, you've done terrible things in your life. Murder, assault, trying to bribe your way into heaven. Okay, try Jimmy McDougal. I don't think so. <coughs> <laughs> Are you all right? Do you need some water? We'll give you water. Sparkling or holy? <laughs> wow, that could have been terrible. What happened? You got a wiener stuck in your throat. I tried giving you mouth to mouth, but I just kept pushing it further in. So I gave you the behind lick. Cheech, I was at the gates of heaven, and they wouldn't let me in. They said I'd done terrible things with my life. Who the hell are they to judge? I don't know, Cheech. It seemed so real. Like I was actually there. Let me ask you something, Jimmy. You ever wear a jacket you haven't worn in a while, and you find a $100 bill in the pocket? I don't know, I guess. Well, that did not happen to me, but I did find Donny the Irishman's ear and a yo-yo in my pocket. Get the hell out of here. A yo-yo? Yep. Hey, an alley. I better take a leak. You never know how far to the next one. <laughs> Like to buy some marijuana, please? All right, let's see the money. You just took our money. You calling me a thief? Let's beat the crap out of him. What's taking him so long? Cheech, come on, let's go. Mister, you saved our lives! What am I gonna do? Not save your lives? They got a special place in heaven for people like you. Thanks again! <sighs> Jimmy, you ever been in an alley that didn't smell? Hey, what happened here? I saved some kids from getting their asses kicked. I done something good. I done good too. I drowned a spider. Look at that. All that reefer going up in smoke. Hey, we're like those two stoners from the movies, Cheech and Jimmy. I guess we ought to tie these guys up. You got a rope? Yeah, in my Boy Scout survival bag. They let you in? They told me the cutoff was 35. I know. I used the yo-yo. Oh, man. Look at that. Another ear. And it's also a left. 
Whose jacket is this? Okay, first of all, we have to tenderize the meat. How do we do that? You try. Now what? We order a pizza and a therapist. Petey was watching MTV. I want to watch the news. I want to watch real teen grandmas. Those shows are stupid. Nuh-uh. I want to find out if Amber's going to deliver today or if she's still grounded. I stand corrected. I gotta say, it felt really good helping those rug buying frat boys. It was almost heroic. Just think how you'd feel if you'd done it on purpose. Petey, put on Teletoon. The Coyote and the Running Birds show is on. I bet this time the bird gets eaten. And last night in downtown Regina, a vigilante broke up a drug deal. A vigilante? How cool is that? Hey, that looks like a good job by some good citizen. Police claim the dealers were tied up with a yo-yo. So let's go to the man on the street, vigilante. Epic or not epic? Epic! Because a vigilante right here in Regina that's gonna bring tourists because they know they'll be safe. It's also the Cabbage Festival. So double epic! Correct! Not epic. You go to hell! Epic! He's protecting our children, keeping drugs off the street. That's epic. Keeping drugs off the street, not epic. Vigilante, epic! And he did it with a yo-yo. He's the yo-yo vigilante. I just came up with that. Now over to Brick Fitman with sports. Epic! It's not even game day, and fans have come out in droves to support the yo-yo vigilante. Give me a V! V! Give me an I! I! Give me a J! J! Who wants yo-yo? Get your yo-yos. Who wants yo-yo? Ow, my eye! My teeth! My baby! Believe this, Cheech? The whole town's talking about us. They love us. Unbelievable. Just for beating up a bunch of bikers. I used to beat up people all the time. Nobody loved me. They called me the assailant. Or that guy. I didn't like that. They would point and say, that guy. Would it have killed them to have learned my name? I got a feeling this could be a chance for me, Cheech. I mean, maybe there's a reason I nearly choked on a weenie. Maybe I can be a real hero. What about me? Can I be, uh, what do you call it, boy toy? You mean boy wonder? I don't know. What was Robin? Boy toy. Okay, not that. How are we gonna do this, Jimmy? What if we don't see no more bad guys? Oh, we'll see them. Or better yet, they'll see us. Oh my, I am so drunk! Why would I leave my fancy mansion with so much money and expensive jewelry for someone to rob from me in my defenseless drunken state? I am far too drunk to ever fight back if someone tried to take my wads of cold, hard, untraceable cash. Why or oh why would I come to a seedy bar such as this? It's like I'm asking for it. It's as if I'm saying, please, rob me. Take heed, stranger. We don't want nobody to taking advantage of your defenselessness condition. They might steal all that fine jewelry so loosely hanging from your neck. I think I will go outside to the alley, kind sir. I feel the need to throw up from the large amounts of alcohol that I have consumed. Barf! Barf! Hey, rich guy. You've been yo-yoed, punk. <gasps> Sounds like trouble. Let's roll. Hey, Jimmy. We're like that cop team, Starsky and Cheech.
assure you that this is not acceptable behavior by any citizen of Regina. We are the Mounties, and we will catch this. Yo-Yo Vigilante. He will be prosecuted to the full extent of the law. Why do you want to prosecute him? He's doing your job better than you. Because the law clearly states... Why can't the Mounties arrest these crooks before the Vigilante? Well, I don't think the Yo-Yo... Yo, yo. What do you got against the yo-yo? Is there a drug problem in Regina? Why have yo-yos been banned from schools? How often do you mount your horse? Finally! Regina has something Saskatoon doesn't. We have the only vigilante hero in the great province of Saskatchewan. What do you think, Jimmy? Epic or not epic? I bet he's just a regular guy who puts on his pants one sleeve at a time. I wish I was more like him. Prowling the streets at night, making my own rules, getting kisses from women I'm not related to. So you like this guy, huh? You think he's gonna get into heaven? He's already in heaven, Jimmy. This is Regina. No, Toby. This is heaven's nutsack. But it deserves to be safe. I heard he's 19, 6'4", blonde hair, and has his own car. A lady at the market told the cashier that her cousin saw him, and he's actually 38, gives foot massages, and cries when it rains. No, he's 19, and he's perfect for me. No, he's 38, cares how your day was, and never misses the ball. Now go to your room. Hey, what are you all talking about? What everybody in town is talking about. The yo-yo vigilante. I so want to make out with him. You put that thought out of your mind right now, little lady. That's sick. I mean, the man's a criminal. That's where I'm torn on this whole deal. On the one hand, he's busting crooks, which makes him a gavone. On the other hand, he's breaking the law, which I respect. I would just like to meet him for one night. He said stop saying that. Mwah. You're daddy's little girl. To the yoke cave. I know you're the yo-yo vigilante. Petey, I admit to being a yo-yo dieter. I just can't shake those last 80 pounds. But a vigilante, that's crazy talk. Oh, is it? All right, you caught us. But it just sort of happened. We didn't plan it. We were a little drunk. It was an accident, but your mother and I still love you. Oh, wait, wrong speech. All right, how'd you know? Every sound in this house travels through those vents and into my room. Yeah? Well, if you think you heard Gloria from a car wash in here the other night, you did not. So you admit you're a vigilante. You rat us out, and I'll come at you with the full force of a 68-year-old man. Rat you out? Oh, contraire. I want to be the Q to your James Bond, the Morgan Freeman to your Batman, the Elton to your John. I want you to use my crime-fighting stuff. Check this one out. It's a modified stud finder that identifies the guilty and the criminally insane. Hey, it works. This is my masterpiece, laser farting gum. It's perfect if you're being chased. Try one. What does it do? Give me your fink. I like it. Plus, there'll never be any doubt who dealt it. The Mountie wants to see us right away. Hang on, I haven't shown you my best one. The Holographic Lady. How does that fight crime? Who cares? I'm sorry to drag you out at this time of night, but it's about the Yo-Yo Vigilante. I think I read something about that. Some handsome hero running around town, stopping bad guys and thumbing his nose at you feds. He's no hero. It's against the law to take the law into your own hands, and I aim to stop him. Go stop him. What's it got to do with us? I need your experience. As you may know, the legendary Take Me Diamond is on display at the Regina Museum of Stuff, and I want you to steal it. Now you're talking my language. Not really steal it, of course. I want you to break into the museum and attempt to steal it. When the vigilante arrives to stop you, I will swoop in and arrest him. You see, gentlemen, sometimes it takes a criminal to catch a criminal. Oh, man, you had to go and gay it up. What's in it for us, McCool? A chance to feel good about doing the right thing, Jimmy. Something I believe you really, really want. You can't tell me what I want, what I really, really want. All right, but you owe us. See you there at midnight. Midnight it is. For Canada! And getting antiquated lyrics stuck in your head! Come find me, my hero. What the? What 
are you doing, young lady? Mom! You get in the house. That's so unfair. I hate you! And get me some batteries. There's some in my nightstand next to my... Never mind, I'll get it. All right, I'll be right over there. When I give the signal, you move in on the diamond. That's when the vigilante will surely make his move. I hope we catch those guys, Jimmy. How are we going to catch those guys? We are those guys! Right. Well, if I catch you, I'm going to let you go. You're my nephew, for Christ's sake. No one's catching anybody. It's really simple. All we got to do is sit here until morning, because nobody's showing up. Hey, look! It's Gina! Shut up! McCool can't know Gina busted in. McCool, look! There's a hot girl in a bikini down the hall. She's getting away! My goodness! The vigilante is a woman! Of course! That's why we couldn't find her. We were only looking for a man. How sexist of us. How un-Canadian. How despicable. And look at that ass. Madam, you're under arrest. Gina, what the hell are you doing? What's it look like I'm doing? I'm taking that diamond. What the hell are you doing here? What are you going to do with a giant diamond? I'm going to fence it. Duh. No. I'm going to wind up fencing it for you, because you don't know any fences. It'll be just like the time you got the hamster, and I wound up feeding it, cleaning its cage, walking it. Then when you didn't want it anymore, I'm the one who had to drive it out to a farm in the country. But, Pop... Get home. But... Now! Man, when I grow up, I'm going to let my children steal whatever they want. She's going to make a damn fine mom someday. Oh, no, McCool's coming back. Okay, quick. What happened? The vigilantes got us. Where were you? We could have been hurt. Yeah, ow. It's the damnedest thing. The bikini lady just disappeared. Then I got a call from my captain saying they've captured the vigilante. What? It was your boss from the tourism bureau. He confessed. A Toby something. I did it! It was me! I'm the vigilante! <coughs> and visit Regina. What the hell is that idiot kid doing? I don't know. Me neither. Whoa, sweet. For once, I'm not the dumber guy. This is bad, Cheech. How could they have arrested Toby? Not only is he not the yo-yo vigilante, he's the nicest guy in the world. That kind of hurts my feelings, Jimmy. It's like the whole world has gone topsy-curvy. I try to do good so that I can redeem myself and a nice guy goes to jail because of it. They'll eat that kid alive in there. Cheech, our next act of vigilantism is busting Toby out of prison. It's so exciting to be bad again. Or good. Whichever this is. So, a new plan unfolds. Oh, for the love of it. Go outside, you little freak. Give me your wallet. All right, all right, here. Scream for help or I'll shoot. Help! Here, go home, you're useless. Teresa, what the hell are you doing? Nothing. Just meeting guys. You're trying to meet the vigilante. I told you he's too old for you. Teresa Maria Falcone, is that a gun? It's just a water pistol. See? Son of a bitch! It's a real gun! No wonder it kept leaking. Give me that thing. You get in the house. You're grounded. God, that's like so unfair. Shake it off, Cookie. Shake it off. It's just a gunshot wound. You've had worse. Help! Help! I've been shot. I need a vigilante. Nothing. What do we do now? Now, we chew. Lock and load. There's a ton of guys in here. How are we gonna find ours? The modified stud muffin finder. You want to buy some memorabilia? I got OJ jerseys. I got bubblegum cards. Gloves. They're hard to get on, but they come off easy. How about a knife? Where'd I put that thing? Damn, I can never find that knife. Did you know he was a football player before he was a criminal? Hey, come here. Come on, come closer. Let me put this gun in your mouth, and I'll write you a song. Come on. 
Just for fun. I've been drinking. What could go wrong? Jimmy, don't look. But I think that guy's wearing a wig. We'll never find Toby with this thing. Everyone in here is a criminal, except the guy we're looking for. Then we reverse the polarities. Star Trek? The view. Hey, you're the two fellows who got me put in here. I didn't do anything. I was just jogging with my metrosexual man bag. You think I haven't used that one? I invented I didn't do it. His story checks out. And all I was trying to do was give you back your stupid monocle. Here! His story, too. Yeah, and I'm in here for trying to save a dog from Michael Vick's car. I don't get it. Everyone I put away was innocent. I finally try to do some good, and it all goes bad. And why am I in my underwear? Jimmy, look. It's the Fishman of Alcatraz. Swim! Swim like the wind! We gotta find all the people we arrested and set them free! Not me, Jimmy! <laughs> I'm already free! This is where I belong! These are my people! And now I beat you alive! And then Toby eats us. Man, can you imagine if that happened? Jimmy, you are so high. <laughs> Shut up! Don't make me laugh! <laughs> Stop! So what do you think? Should we tie these guys up? Are you out of your mind? Then the whole story could come true. We gotta get out of here before we do something good by mistake. What about heaven? Some people are put on this earth to do good, Cheech. Let's get out of here before any of them come and arrest us. That sure was a crazy story, Jimmy. But let me tell you something. I am the Demon Golf Lord. Knock it off already. La 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 how you doing? I'm Jimmy Falcone, currently known as Jimmy McDougal. Back in the old days, when I was a big shot, the most important person in my life was my lawyer. When you make an honest living breaking the law, never misunderestimate the value of a good shyster. Suppose I allegedly tried to whack a guy and he went to the cops. Would I be in trouble? Hmm. The guy was available night and day. I know it's 4 a.m. and you're in the Hamptons, but you gotta come to the city and bail me out. <sighs> I need you to get rid of this for me. <clears throat> Nothing seemed to phase this guy. Then out of the blue, he robs a liquor store and gets sent to jail. And this guy went to Harvard. Why would he do that? Thank God! Just put me in a deep, dark hole and get me away from Jimmy Falcone! <laughs> Anyway, now that I'm in witness protection, I don't need no lawyer, because I got my own personal Mountie. Hey, McCool, can you get me one of them new Smarty Pants phones? We've been through this, Jimmy. I can't cater to your every little whim. The answer is no, so just... I can't believe I'm going to say this. Forget about it. Oh! Oh! Let me tell you something about a friend of ours named Jimmy. I made the wise guy and the capo with the gambini. But when he found out that they'd be whacking Uncle Cheech, he take the boss, he threw him from the 19th floor suite. Wasn't much along till the mob all wants him dead. So Jimmy had no choice but to talk to all the feds. The feds say they helped if they could use him as a pawn. So he ratted out his friends and moved to Saskatchewan. Forget about it. Forget about it. Forget about it. Oh, forget about it. So, they took your appendix, huh, McCool? I give you one of mine, but it's probably messed up from hard living. But, Uncle Cheech, the human appendix is a vestigial organ. I've been kicked in the vestigials. I feel your pain, McCool. I hope you like the flowers. It was the most expensive ones they had. Nothing's too good for our Mountie. We got the banner just in case. Listen, Doc. 
This guy's a friend of the family. Send his bill to us. What bill? I like you. You learn fast. Cookie, is Jimmy coming? His smiling face and ceaseless cigar smoke always brighten my day. Don't worry, I'm sure he's on his way. I sent that bonehead plenty of reminders. <laughs> Ah, crap, I slept past five. What's with him? He's looking right at me. He's still there. What if he's a hitman? This is bad! Son of a... Toby, what are you doing sneaking up on a guy like that? Oh, sorry, Jimmy. I just came to remind you. If you're gonna stay late... Don't forget to put in for overtime. Thanks, Toby. Oh, my pleasure. All right, you bastard. You want me? Come get me. Gotcha! Toby! Jeez, sorry! I thought you were someone else! Maybe I should start wearing a bell? I wish you'd have thought of that earlier. It's that guy again. What guy? All I can see are fuzzy shapes. You've reached Special Agent Straight to McCool. Just leave a message, Jimmy. You're the only one who ever calls. McCool, I've been made. There's a guy tailing me. Meet me at home. And grab me a slice on your way. I'm starving. Ow! What the hell, Ma? You know that bear Gina has in her room with a dollar sign on it? Sure, sure. Money bear. Okay. I was in a room, getting rid of anything that might be construed as evidence, and I think I might have threw a money bear. What? You know how Gina gets when you touch her stuff. Remember when you tried to get her off the pacifier? She was like a badger, clawing and scratching, and that sound she made. <laughs> I wore an eye patch for a year. Exactly, so I don't want to know about this. I can't believe my own daughter's gonna abandon me in a time when I'm in danger from my other daughter. What? Nothing. Nothing. This. You want a gun or you want to ask stupid questions? Where the hell were you? Paul McCool's lying in the hospital and you can't... Wait a second, McCool's in the hospital? Why didn't you tell me? That means we're on our own! What are you talking about? I don't got time to explain. I think we've been made. <laughs> Whoa! Easy, Tiger. Boy, Jimmy, I've been trying to introduce myself all night, but you kept giving me the slip. Who the hell are you? And who sent you? I came as soon as I got your message. Jimmy, this is FBI agent Rick Chick Magnet. Is pepperoni okay? All they had was pepperoni. It's kind of cold. What do you feds want from me now? The Bureau wants to interview you for an ongoing investigation, Jimmy. Nice to meet you. I'm Special Agent McCool. Let me guess. First name, not so? Nice uniform, not so. <laughs> <laughs> so what do you say, Jimmy? Deal or not a deal? No way. I had enough of being a no-good snitch for one lifetime. In the eyes of the U.S. government, you're no snitch. You, sir, are a hero. You sure you got the right Jimmy? Oh, and by the way, I brought eight pounds of gabagool from Polly's Deli in New York. Yay! <gasps> Jimmy, what's a gabagool? It's lunch meat. Now put on some pants, will you? Come on in, chick magnet. I guess I'll be heading back to the old hospital. <laughs> for Canada! And ow! Oh, my stitches popped. Well, Jimmy, you've been a huge help. The tip about Don Barzini alone is enough to blow the case wide open. When you take him down, tell him I said yo. <laughs> I sure will. Uh, now listen, between you and me, how do you like it up here in the great mild north? Don't ask. What if I told you that as a reward for your cooperation, the Bureau is willing to relocate your family. What? <laughs> That's right, Jimmy. To sunny California. Really? What did you say? California? Are you serious? The details are right in here. 
I'll take you and Cheech down to the North Dakota field office for processing, and the family can meet us in California. You hear that? We're gonna be Americans again! But wait, I was just getting to like it here. The schools are better, the medical care is top-notch, and I just finished building my first igloo in the backyard. Pipe down, Petey. You can build plenty of googie-goos in California. Hang on. Petey might have a point. Is it right to keep moving the kids around like homeless gypsies? Let's get the f*** out of here! Woo! Chick Magnet's giving you a six-bedroom house, a full cable package, and a job as a nude beach lifeguard? Are you sure you don't want to stay in Canada, Jimmy? I'm positive. California's got sunshine, no snow, and unfettered access to burritos. My hands are tied here. Well, then, I suppose this is goodbye? Really? I never hugged a cop before, unless I was stabbing him. In a way, you have stabbed me, Jimmy. Right through the heart. Jeez, all right. <gasps> You're crying now? No, no, my... Incision became severely infected when I left the hospital to meet you last night. That's what you get for ignoring doctor's orders. Anyway, I'll send you a postcard. It'll have my new name on it. Jimmy Gonzalez. <gasps> what are you doing? I got a replacement for Money Bear. You think that piece of crap's gonna fool Gina? Where's the dollar sign on the front? I'll sew it on. But first, we gotta age it to look like Money Bear. What's he look like? I need details! I don't know. Ask Petey. I can. He'll say, Mother, honesty is the best policy and get us all killed! Wait, it had an eye missing. Good, good. So we'll pry off one of the son of a bitch's eyes. Which one? Think! I had it, but you slapped it out of me. Well, Igloo, in saying goodbye to you, I'm also saying farewell to Canada. Yeah, we're leaving right now. Don't sweat it. They don't suspect a thing. <gasps> I'm not telling you where they are. You'll send guys to whack them, and I don't get my million-dollar bounty. See you in Fargo. You bring the money, I'll bring the Falcones. God, I hate Canada. Snow in my pants. All right, boys, let's head off to your new life. So long, Cook. Next time you see me, we'll be in sunny California. And I'll be selling oranges at the off-ramp in a leopard print thong. You take good care of my Jimmy, okay? Of course I will. <laughs> it's not like I'm gonna get him across the border, put a bullet in his head, and sell him to the mob or anything. <laughs> <laughs> Call McCool. Searching for my stool. Would you like me to book a colonoscopy? <gasps> <Dog>! <laughs> Agent McCool's special here. McCool! Rick Chick Magnet is gonna kill my dad! Slow down, I'm on morphine, so I'm having trouble following. Who's this again? It's Petey. Rick Chick Magnet is taking Dad and Cheech to the mob. Chick Rick Magnet? What are you calling me for? You think you're so cool. You want cool? Try morphine. This sh is awesome. This isn't Chick Magnet, it's Petey. Petey, hey! Kid, I tell you, if I'd tried this morphine junk when I was your age, I never would have become a cop. I'd have become a jazz dancer. Snap out of it! My dad's in trouble! Did I ever tell you how Mummy supported us when Daddy left? The men she brought home, we called them my uncles. No, uncle, I won't fix you a drink. Get your own damn highball, you filthy pervert! <laughs> What am I gonna do? Dad's gonna die! Help! I'm bored. Are we there yet? Hey, let's play I Spy. What are you, six? Take it easy, Chick Magnet. Just kidding. <laughs> All right, I'll go first. I spy with my little eye something that's gonna get slaughtered. What? See? A truck full of lambs. Oh, right. Good one. I'll try again. I spy with my little eye dead meat. Who, me? No, no. There's some roadkill over there. <laughs> one more. 
I spy, with my little eye, two wise guys who are gonna get whacked. All right, you're freaking me out. What? Relax. It's just Martin Scorsese's new movie. We are so seeing that. Hey, Cheech? Cheech? Aw, he fell asleep. <laughs> Mommy, you don't have to turn on the red light. <gasps> wow, what a trip. Won't be doing that again. Oh, look, Petey called. Thundering Thunder Bay! Jimmy! <laughs> Gallop like the wind horse, Jimmy's in trouble! Hawk Canada! Where friendship prompts infection every time! Okay, now we run him through the dryer a bunch of times to make him look old. I can't do this! I can lie to you and Pop! But Gina, she's got those eyes. They burn right through ya. Don't you fall apart on me now. If this doesn't look exactly like Money Bear, you and me are going to California in a pine box. What the hell are they talking about Money Bear for? He's right down here. What are they so freaked out about? I'm out. You're out when I say you're out. <laughs> I could have a lot of fun with this. Look at that. Three more Kims and we'll be in the good old U.S. of A. First thing I'm gonna do is get me some poutine and a bottle of maple syrup. Hey, get a load of McCool. Jesus Christ, are you kidding me? Let us go, it's for the best. For us, at least. It's a double cross. I can't hear you. I'll Skype you from Cali. <laughs> Yo, Chick Magnet, relax. He's just trying to say goodbye again. Pull over. Screw that. You're under my jurisdiction now. Technically, not for two more Kims. Oh! Oh! oh. <laughs> We're alive, Jimmy. You know what this means? Seatbelts actually work. McCool, you crazy bastard. What are you doing? Oh, run. Run. What's he saying, rum? Rum! Poor bastard needs a drink. I know the feeling. Quit fooling around! This guy needs help! Oh, God, could you possibly be more dense? I'm trying to kill you, you stupid moron! But what about Calif- Oh! you trying to kill us? You're a fed. I'd explain, but I hate it when bad guys stand around telling their plan when they could just kill the hero. I'm a lot of things, but a hero ain't one of them. Ah, my eyes! Ah! Do you ever wash your feet? <clears throat> hey, Jimmy, if I drop my pants, do I get a piggyback too? Between you and me, my nuts are like ice cubes. I know, I know. I'm cold, too. Oh, I mean all the time. We need to find shelter. Hey, maybe there's a Howard Johnson's out here. How about that old barn? I bet that joint don't even have cable. Damn it! It still looks good as new. And he smells spring fresh! I'll warm up the car. We'll run over his head a couple times. Whose head is Ma gonna run over? <gasps> oh, hi, Gina. How are you, little sis? What's behind your back? What? Oh, nothing. All right, now you got me curious. And when I get curious, I like answers. You know how I like to get answers, Teresa? <laughs> how? The hard way. <laughs> Poor guy's turning blue. We gotta find something to start a fire. Don't waste your time. He knew this was a one-way ride. Come on, Cheech. The guy risked his life to save my ass after I treated him like a jerk. Which makes him a huge pushover, but still. Way I see it, if he dies, we can survive on him for weeks. He's built like Conan. The barbarian, not the weird redhead on TV. Cheech, I'm hungry too, but we're not eating McCool. Get a fire going. You work nights as an arsonist. Should be a cinch. Look for anything that'll burn. 
Forget it, Jimmy. We're all gonna freeze in here. Wait, I know. This ought to burn for a while. <clears throat> Changed your mind? Ah, the tag was chafing me. So, you threw out Money Bear. You got any idea why I call him Money Bear? Because I keep money in him, that's why. I had three grand in there. Hey, where's Mom? Dad's in trouble. <laughs> now, let's have a little talk about how I'm going to get my money back. I'm not the one you want. It's Ma. She dragged me into this. Oh, sure, I get it. You was just an innocent bystander. Oh, God, I'm so sorry, Gina. I'll get your money, I promise. Whatever it takes, just don't hurt me. All right, seeing as your family, I'll cap the vig at 3%. And let this be a lesson to you. Don't keep no secrets from me. <laughs> Easiest three grand I ever made. Does uh, this say what it looks like? Get up to your room. You're grounded. Ah, crap. That's it? She's grounded? You didn't say a word about throwing out a stupid bear. What, am I gonna incriminate myself? Oh, that's great! I owe her a bunch of money, and you got off with nothing? Well, kid, I'm a mob wife. I got an instinct for dodging bullets. How much into it for, anyway? I don't know. How many dollars are in three percents? I can't take this no more! We gotta fight back! Our first mistake was not bringing guns. Wait a sec. McCool might have a gun. Ah, uh, I'm way ahead of you. What are you doing? Passing the time till help comes. Give me that! Find something to make clothes. We're going outside. Hey, we could have just burnt this stuff. All right, chick magnet, get him up. Get him up? You sound like a no good cop. Let's see them hands. Yippee ki yay, Sheriff. Oh, you making fun of me? Nah, just kidding around, officer. Spit it out. You saying I gone soft? No, oh, I'm saying I'd have shot the guy already. Oh, yeah? How's that? You missed. The old snowman decoy trick works every time, except in summer. You're a disgrace, Chick Magnet, turning your back on your badge for a few lousy bucks. More like a million bucks, Jimmy. What? Me and Cheech are worth a million bucks to the mob? Just for you. For Cheech, I get a coffee maker. Oh, I went up. I used to be worth a three-pack of tube socks. The only coffee you'll be brewing will be in prison, Chick Magnet. McCool! You're alive! Now who am I gonna have for lunch? Your humble shirt and pants fire was enough to temporarily spur my immune system, Jimmy. Now let's see how your immune system handles a hot lead injection, donkey dong. Ah! Horse, good boy. Give him hell, horsey. Stop it, horse. You're only stomping lifeless pulp. Up on, boys. No sense riding on an empty stomach. Let's roast up the G-man before we go. Enough with the cannibalism. What do you want from me? I got a craving. Petey told us what happened. Are you boys okay? Everyone's fine, despite being chased by a lunatic out for personal gain. Funny, same thing happened to me and Teresa. But why let one rogue federal agent ruin the big move to California? Uh, about that, Cookie, it appears that Chick Magnet engineered the whole thing. I know, what a bastard, but we're still going, right? Right? Sorry, Cook. Jesus Christ! That's yes. <laughs> well, McCool, I guess you ain't getting rid of us that easy. I suppose not. I must thank you, Jimmy. You went above and beyond to keep me alive. I just burned a shirt off my back. It was nothing. No, Jimmy, it was proof. You like me. You really like me. Well, I should get back to hospital. The infection is starting to take hold again. <gasps> Let's cook them like a Christmas ham.
Saskatchewan, la 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 these biscotti got almonds in them? Nah, don't worry about it. You need a doctor? No, I'm good. Lion came so easy that the truth was frowned on. Like the time Johnny Forthright came to town. Hey, Jimmy, with that gut, you're begging for a heart attack. Now, there's a reason wise guys never tell the truth. Because who wants to hear that crap? Then Johnny comes along with his mouth, and suddenly I'm so worried about my weight, I had what my doctor called a mild cardiac incident. <laughs> Once I got out of the hospital, I reminded Johnny that the truth hurts. Then I... Did not wipe the sidewalk with his face. <laughs> anyway, now that I'm in witness protection, I'm still living a lie. Except this one's legit. And you've never looked slimmer. What? Good fellas ain't the only ones who can lie their freaking asses off. Ho! Oh, forget about it. Let me tell you something about a friend of ours named Jimmy. I made the wise guy and the capo with the gambini. But when he found out that they'd be whacking Uncle Cheech, he take the boss, he threw him from the 19th floor suite. Wasn't much along till the mob all wants him dead. So Jimmy had no choice but to talk to all the feds. The feds will say they helped if they could use him as a pawn. So he ratted out his friends and moved to Saskatchewan. Forget about it. Forget about it. Forget about it. Oh, forget about it. Blue Tiger, you clear? Clear. Take the shot! Take the shot! Who is it? Huh, pizza? Oh, if someone ordered pizza this late, it's Sarah! They didn't order pizza. Repeat, did not order pizza. Pull back, send in the robot! <laughs> It's Halloween already? What the f are you supposed to be, kid? Ooh. He didn't take delivery! Go, 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 go! Jimmy McDougal, you've been duly served! Fifteen guys in a freaking toaster to serve a summons? Can't take any chances, sir. Not since last year's potty mouth incident. You Canucks are pussies. Gah! Harsh language alert! Fall back! <laughs> ah! I don't remember getting these tickets. Public urination, drunken disorderly, Dunkin' Donuts. Oh, that's a receipt. Six grand in parking fines? Ooh. Not so fast, Cheech. Did you get these tickets and use my name? Yeah, but don't worry. I burned them all. Remember? The whole garage went up. That was you? Technically, it was the oily rags that I tossed the burning tickets onto. Do you gotta wreck everything you touch? Yeah, like the skylight he tried to put in the bathroom? The fresh air helps me go. Or the ceiling fan he installed last year. <laughs> so I goofed up. It happens. It happens every day with you, you bum! bum. <gasps> Who are you calling a bum? I'm calling you a bum, Cheech. You ruined my old life, and you're mooshing a new one. And you know why? Because you're a screw-up, and you're a bum. And that's the truth to you. Cheech, you okay? <laughs> I'm fine. It'll take more than that to bring old Cheech to... How could they say them things about me? I'm not some kind of moron. I know. 
I'll pay the tickets. Jimmy will lend me the money. All right, he thinks I'm a bum. <gasps> Maybe they're right. What good am I to anyone? Help! My husband's trapped in that fire! Shut up! I'm trying to take you here. Ma, you gotta sign this so I can get vaccinated at school. You can't let him pump Gina full of autism juice. Uh, the link between vaccines and autism has been roundly rejected by the medical community. Ooh, the medical community. What about the community of celebrities who know how to raise perfect kids? Yeah, Petey. If they didn't know what they were talking about, they wouldn't be published in the pages of Celebrity Minutia magazine. But they won't let me go to school if I don't get them shots. Then I'll learn you at home. I'm not taking chances with your health. But you'll risk her catching rubella or whooping cough? Oh, don't make up diseases, Petey. Cool! I got you out of school. You're welcome. What you don't get, Brainiac, is when I miss school, I lose business. And when I lose business, I get dark impulses. So you're gonna take care of my business. What's in it for me? I won't break your nose. Throw in my arm, and you got a deal. Wakey, wakey! Canada has plenty of freshly painted substandard housing for people like you. Move along, my downtrodden friend. Just soak me in gas and light a match, Mukul. Mordecai Richler's legacy, Cheech. This isn't about Jimmy's parking tickets, is it? Sure is. Could you pull a little magic act and make them vanish for me? One can't simply vanish parking tickets. One pays them. And if one is so inclined, one pays them in advance. This one guy sounds like a jagoff. Could a jagoff do this? Who? Oh. Now do that 6,000 more times. It's a bus token, Cheech. You could always go to City Hall and fight those tickets. It's your right as an honest citizen. Well, citizen. I'll do it. I represented myself in court for littering once. Talked them down to a six-year stretch. Then I'll leave it in your marginally capable hands. For Canada, where we still believe in magic! <sighs> Looks like someone misses Cheech. Me? Miss that bum? Not a chance. Why, did he call? Not that I care. If he called, I tell him to go back to Bumtown, uh, wherever he's been for the last couple of days. Did he call? No. I'm going to bed. You stay here, pretending you don't regret the awful things you said to him. Pop, this is weird. It ruins it if you talk! <laughs> Hey, is your boss around, sweetheart? I gotta talk to him about some tickets. Whoa, well, Lady Mayor. How about we ram a few motions through your council chamber? I was thinking, Your Honor, since I did you a favor, Three by my count. Maybe you could do one for... <gasps> Maron! Oh, sweet lady. She died doing what she loved. Screwing the people. I'm worried. I said some completely accurate things to Cheech that he totally took the right way, and I ain't seen him since. Last I saw, he was filled with vim and vigor, ready to fight those tickets in court. So don't worry, Jimmy. Jimmy! Cheech! Great news! You paid the tickets! No! I'm running for mayor! Rob Ford's big red face! I did not see that coming. And you're sure the mayor was alive during your... octogenarian boot-knocking? I may be a lot of things, but I ain't no necropelagic. All right, then. It was natural causes. More or less natural. But you running for her job is out of the question. Especially over pocket tickets. It's more than that. I gotta do something with my life before it's too late. So I'm running, McCool. Running like a cokehead's nose. Get ready to catch a serious dose of election fever because the mayor is dead. Oh, that's good copy, Carl. 
Oh, the candidates throwing their hat into the ring include Premier Mickey O'Shea, who's running on a why the hell not platform, former strip joint manager Pierre Le Chouachoua, who's French, <laughs> as if, and area man Cheech McDougal, who promised pizza Fridays every day of the week. What do you think of me now? You're a drunk and you didn't finish high school. I think you got a shot. Are you insane? Witness protection rules strictly forbid running for office. So kick me out. When I'm mayor, I'll have a whole police force to protect me. And get me lunch. I get you're excited, but there's no way in hell you can run for mayor. All right, then. <laughs> Strange. Neither of us tried to stop him. I had no confidence in that fan. What's your excuse? Wow, you just say Gina's name and they shower you with money. <gasps> Here, I'll take care of that. I'm the substitution teacher. And I'm a nurse. I bet none of you want to get a big old dangerous needle, do ya? Uh -uh. I think I found my calling. Saving the children. Please don't touch me. Why are you here? I skipped work. Me and McCool would take a cheech out to cheer him up. What are you doing? Ma's homeschooling me because I ain't vaccinated. After this, I gotta unload the dishwasher for home ec. Is Cheech ready to go see some strippers? Oh, hello, Gina. Cheech said he was going to the election rally. I guess he meant direction. Election rally? Jimmy, let's go! Gina! Time for gym class! We're playing Hang the Laundry! Aye. Schwa schwa economic growth, schwa schwa anglophone pigs. What do you think Cheech is up to? God willing, a public withdrawal. Sounds dirty. I'm not one for long speeches, so thank you and goodbye. Whoa, wait, I forgot the thing. Hang on, watch this. Not tonight, honey. I have a, oh, I just don't love you anymore. That's marriage for you. But don't worry, pal. I got you covered. Hi, I'm Cheech McDougal. I've been all over this great city. Well, maybe not great. Face it, it's a shithole. Anyway, I've been talking to folks all over vagina. And while I can't remember any of them conversations, I know what people want. And that's... Uh, sex. If you're poor or ugly, which is most of you, sex is hard to come by. But not anymore. Today, I give you the Affordable Orgasm Act. Hey! Don't worry. Under my universal prostitution plan, the government pays for it. In that case, can I have one too? You bet your ass you can. And on election day, bet your ass on me. I'm Cheech McDougal, and I approve these wars. I know what you're gonna say, but I was on my way to quit when the mailman showed up. Mail person, we're in Canada. Nah, I'm pretty sure Gloria's a man. Anyway, he had this bag full of donations for my campaign. The people have spoken, and they want me. You sure you heard him right? For the first time in my life, I'm not screwing up. I'm getting it right. And I owe it all to you. What? You gave me the kick in the pills I needed. You're not just my nephew, Jimbo. You're my best friend. Hey, one more thing, Paisan. Cheech, oh, cheech, can cheech, you tell cheech, this is a hairpiece? Cheech, cheech, cheech. And that is why eating mashed up insects is good for the environment and your complexion. Someone's gonna have a healthy glow tomorrow. <coughs> oh no, you're all getting sick. Thanks a lot, GMOs! Okay, everyone eat these donkey placentas. They ward off sickness and dark forest fairies. Waldo, make sure to chew. Uh. 
My superiors are threatening to have a beaver chew me a new one. It's a little consolation that I get to choose the beaver. No one back home is gonna mistake that Elvis-looking Huggy Bear for Cheech Falcone. Besides, there's no way he's gonna win. Yeah, what's the harm in letting him lose? It'll be good for his self-esteem. But the opposing candidates will make mincemeat out of him. Come on, Canuck politicians don't take the gloves off like they do down south, do they? You tell me. This footage provided by the O'Shea for Mayor Committee was filmed at a Cheech McDougal campaign stop. Of course I'm a feminist. My dinner ain't gonna cook itself. What the hell's an LGBTQ? Some kind of fucking sandwich? But if I slip one past the goalie, then I'm pro-choice. Hey, are you filming this? Yeah, now the kids can see me do this in one snort. See, McCool? He don't need to quit. His big mouth's gonna mess this up. Public reaction to the Cheech McDougal footage has been swift. I like Cheech. You really know what you're getting with him. Yeah, he speaks his mind. Like, it's confusing, but like, he speaks it. <laughs> it's high time we got our own sandwich. McDougal's numbers have soared, giving him- What is wrong with these people? This video is just the beginning. They're going to dig into Cheetah's past, and do you know what they'll find? A lot of dead bodies? A man who up until a few months ago did not even exist! Yeah. I have been digging into Cheech McDougal's past. Whoa! I got no idea who you are, but McCool was just talking about you! You come alone. My wife usually helps me, but that's not what you meant. I cannot schwa reveal my schwa schwa identity, schwa. Come on out, schwa schwa. How did you schwa schwa it was me, Monsieur Jimmy? Call it a hunch. I did some digging on Monsieur Cheech. What I found was most schwa schwa. <laughs> Cheech forgot to sign his nomination papers. Even if he wins, he cannot be mayor, Schwa. His campaign is as illegitimate as my Schwa Schwa children. <laughs> Can you imagine? He had it in his grasp, and he schwa it up. <laughs> so you're blackmailing us? Eh, mais no, no, I like you guys. I give Monsieur Cheech the Schwa to save himself from the suicide-inducing embarrassment of this blunder. Nice of you, thanks. If it were me, I would light myself on fire and schwa in front of a train. <laughs> yeah, I get it. He's a dope. Then no one would have to schwa upon my corpse and say, here lies the stupidest schwa on earth. Okay, enough. Uh, so, uh, can I schwa on your vote next Tuesday? Now that Cheech is ineligible to run, we're in the clear, Jimmy. Why the frown? Because I still got to break the news to the guy. So what? It's his own fault. Exactly. I called him a bum and a screw-up, and it almost destroyed him. If I tell him he screwed this up, I don't know what he'll do. Hopefully kill himself. In the old life, you were never supposed to truth someone. What if I truth all you guys? What if I told Petey sometimes I want to punch him in the face for being such a goofy little know-it-all? Or if I let McCool know I think his horse has more personality than he does? Suppose I told Gina here that Therese is actually my favorite. Or if I told Cookie... Watch it! <laughs> I gotta let Cheech down easy. Make him think quitting is his idea. This is gonna be harder than sitting through a Canadian movie. At least at the end I'll know what happened. But depressing, confusing cinema no one cares for is our national heritage. <laughs> Watch out for Big Palmer. They want us to waste money on medicine and cheese when we should really be using it to make sure blockbuster movies have solid opening weekends. <gasps> Run, Big Palmer! I didn't teach you, kids. You taught me. Oh. <laughs> Can we stop by the office? I want to get a reference. Hey, Jimmy, you want a lucky rabbit's foot for election day? Nah, I'm good. So, you gonna pack your bags? What for? Come next week. <laughs> <laughs>
We're all moving to the mayor's mansion. Hey, bring a chainsaw. That place needs more skylights. Pack your bags. Pack your bags. Pack your bags. 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 Actually, pal, we are moving. Now that you're gonna be mayor, McCool's relocating us. Uh, I don't think they'll let me be mayor from some other town. No, you're staying here. And I can't even tell you where we're going, because you're not in witness protection no more. Anyhow, I came to say goodbye. You're gonna make the best mayor this town has ever seen. And from what I hear, the youngest. You're leaving? I'll never see you, Cookie, Teresa, Gina, or what's-his-face again? Yeah. Sorry. But I got everyone rabbit's foot. <laughs> I can't do this. Being mayor means I lose my family, so I'm out. Ah, he's a family man. Besides, all I'm gonna do is fleece the city dry, then burn the joint down for the insurance. But they'll still be free prostitutes, right? Yeah, for me. Don't you get it? Just cause you like me is no reason to vote for me. I got no idea what I'm doing. Outside of robbing you assholes blind. <gasps> Finally, an honest politician. Chance, chance, chance! It's like chance, talking to chance, a wall. Chance, all right, chance, that's it. Chance, chance, I gotta break all of your stuff. Come here, you! <laughs> no, you want one? All right, stop smiling. <laughs> hey, buddy, get out of the way. I'm trying to hit your wife. <laughs> they just kept cheering for me, even when I had a handicapped kid in a headlock. No offense, but voters are stupid. Hey, the election results are in. Pierre Le Chua Chua narrowly edged out Mickey O'Shea to become the next mayor of Regina. That crazy Puerto Rican wants to keep universal prostitution alive. I gotta get a taste. I wrote that legislation. I'm sorry I truthed you, Cheech. It's okay. Just do me a favor and we're even. Help me pry this rug off. I stuck it on with hot glue. <gasps> Yo, Airhead, you got my money? No, but I have blisters on my tongue and I think I pooped a kidney. That's it. I don't care what Hollywood says. We're getting our shots. Kids, roll up your sleeves. McCool, drop your pants. But I have all my shots. I said drop them. La 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 where I grew up, you had three career options. Cop, priest, a gangster. My old man was a wise guy, so that's what I was. Who doesn't want to grow up to be their pop? Unless he's a priest. Then you got bigger problems. Or a cop. In which case, fuck you. What the hell's that? I hit something? Jimmy, what are you doing back here? Impersonating a spare tire. What's it look like? I want to learn the family business from Pop. You're too young for this kid. Go hit your ride home. At his age? Are you nuts? That ain't safe. Here, take this with you. I wanted Pop to let me stay, but he was being such a prick. I mean, it's not like I was some kind of moron or anything. <laughs> oh my god, I'm so sorry. Don't worry about it. We're out here to whack Polly anyway. You made your bones, kid. You murdered a man and bonded with your father over it? Technically, it was manslaughter. And I'm just saying, it was a nice moment. Not for Paulie, it wasn't. Gut shots take forever to kill you. Bastard lingered for days. Don't listen to him, Pop. I think bonding over some Jagoff with more holes in him than Swiss cheese would be great. Let's start with Cheech. <laughs> This kid, <laughs> what a card. <laughs> but if you think people up here in Mother Canada don't got any daddy issues, forget about it. 
Let me tell you something about a friend of ours named Jimmy. I made the wise guy and the capo with the gambini. But when he found out that they'd be whacking Uncle Cheech, he take the boss, he threw him from the 19th floor suite. Wasn't much along till the mob all wants him dead. So Jimmy had no choice but to talk to all the feds. The feds will say they heard that they could use him as a pawn. So he ratted out his friends and moved to Saskatchewan. Forget about it. Forget about it. Forget about it. Oh, forget about it. I hope taking me to the antique fair wasn't too traumatic for you fellas. At first, I wanted to blow my brains out, but then I got numb from boredom. Now that I've been antiquing, it's okay for me to admit that I like show tunes, right? Because I love show tunes. Look at that animal running right beside us, running really, really fast. What show is that from? It ain't. Look. Oh, I got 400 horsepowers here, and she's keeping up with me. Yeah, but the horses in the engine are teeny tiny. For Christ's sake, slow down, Jimmy. What for? Oh, that. This wouldn't have happened if Cheech bungeed it to the roof like I said. If I knew what bungee meant, I'd have done it. But I don't, so I didn't. We're gonna get rich racing this horse we bought. I'm gonna name it in honor of Cookie. Really? Yep, I'm calling this filly Cookie's fucking wardrobe. Cause that's all we heard about on the ride home. That's sweet, Jimmy. But are you sure it's a filly? I checked, right up to my elbow. Sorry I missed antiquing in Moose Jaw Cookie. Uh, sweet Canadian pickers. What a lovely wardrobe. And who's this? <laughs> this is Cookie's fucking wardrobe. Yes, I realize it's Cookie's, Jimmy, but what of this horse? It's Cookie's fucking wardrobe. We've established who owns the wardrobe. No need for... Oh, I see. Her name is Cookie's Fluffra Wardrobe. That's terrible. Beats calling a horse. Is that so? I'll have you know that I and horse both happen to think that horse is a perfectly utilitarian moniker. You can't name something what it is. That's stupid. What am I going to do? Go inside and say hello to my two girls, daughter and antichrist? Hey, look, it's my son. Massive disappointment. Hey, it looks as good as new, which means you screwed up. It's supposed to look old, like an antique. Hey, nice cupboard, Ma. It's not a cupboard, ignoramus. It's an armoire. Don't talk to my daughter that way. Oh, my God, do you realize what you just did? I gave him a dirty look. That was no mere dirty look. You have the Malocchio. But I don't want to be a real boy. It's the Sicilian evil eye. The power to curse anyone who crosses you with medium to serious misfortune. Does this mean I have to do stuff? I, I don't want to do stuff. It's a gift that runs in our family, but skips a generation. I always thought Gina'd be the one to get it. Ha! In your face, Gina. Teresa, the Malocchio is nothing to be trifled with. You got a lot to learn, young lady. I know. Like what the hell trifled with means? You're both nuts. There's no such thing as the Malocchio. It's a silly superstition. Don't you diss my magic curse and stink eye. Ooh, I'm real scared. <laughs> ha! Am I throwing this race or what? Ah, you don't gotta throw nothing. This animal runs like my bowels on taco night. Yo, Cheech, looks like we're not allowed to race. Cookie's fucking wardrobe is pregnant. Don't look at me, I pulled out. Sorry, it's my go-to when I hear someone's with child. The dipshit duo blows it again. I'll be in the lounge. Do not join me. I had a lot of money riding on this animal. How'd she get knocked up? McCool, that's how. I bet that horse of his did it. I can't say I blame her. Horse is hung like a McCool. Jimmy, we gotta get what's coming to us. And we'll do it like our Sicilian ancestors did. In paternity court. Jimmy, this is preposterous. Relax, McCool. We're suing the RCMP, not you personally. Yes, you are. The department says I'm responsible for horse's actions. Geez, that changes things. You saved me a trip downtown. Thanks. I want the truth. Read back that testimony. I want the truth. Nehehehehe. <laughs> I really shouldn't. 
I have a race coming up. Oh, come on, baby. You know I love you. Oh, okay. <gasps> but use a condom. I thought you were on the pill. I am, but it don't protect you from the clock. Hey, I'm clean. I just got out of a long-term relationship. Sounds like someone likes to commit. Get on with it! <clears throat> I gotta prove you're actually knocked up. Uh, think about running water. You know, I object over rule. Sorry, I thought about running water. <laughs> anyway, I rest my case. Oye, oye. Court is now in session. What the hell is this? The judge is here. We can start for real. But I got a surprise witness. He did the same thing to me. Where'd you get that? Betting on the ponies. Yeah? Well, how about giving your big sister a cut? No way! The hobos who laid the bets for me ain't getting a cut. Why should you? Oh, you better think twice before you mess with me, you gypsy wannabe. You think twice. I mo Cacino, the lunch lady, and she fell into a pot of soup. She get burned? Nah, it was cafeteria soup. It's lukewarm at best. But she did have to go home and change. You ain't getting shit. Put that in your soup. Hey, I think the effects of the curse wear off after a couple of days. <laughs> Paternity court again, Agent McCool. I'm sorry, Your Honor. When you were a boy, your mother was in here suing your father, Staunch McCool, for alimony. Alimony that remains unpaid to this day, Your Honor. I see. So, we've got cookies, f***ing wardrobe versus horse. What's your horse's name? Horse. Yes, the horse. What is its name? Horse. You're trying my patience, Special Agent. His name is Horse, Your Honor. Well, no wonder he's impregnating fillies willy-nilly. Give the animal the dignity of a proper name, sir! It is a proper name, and that is not the concern of this nosy, nosy court. Straight McCool, I find you in contempt. Furthermore, I find in favor of the plaintiff. Agent McCool is ordered to pay all damages. What? We won! Without even saying a word! Makes you think, huh? How different would my life be if I just kept my mouth shut? Yo, toots, nice cans. <laughs> Ma'am, I'm sorry, that was very disrespectful. What I meant was, nice cans, your honor. <sighs> According to this, I owe you tens of thousands of dollars. I'd hate for this to ruin our friendship. Yeah, that would be terrible. Now pay up or I'll break your knees. How am I supposed to raise that much money on a civil servant's salary? Your pop! He's out there living the high life, totally crushing the whole dead be dead thing. Where did you get these? Oh, I got my ways, McCool. Petey found them on the internet? Yes. He's at the Banff Springs Hotel. Let's get him. He pays you, you pay us, everybody's happy. Except you. All right, I'll do it. Frankly, I relish the opportunity to righteously confront my no-account deadbeat father. I can't face him! Don't make me go! I'm scared, Jimmy, please! I just can't do it! I'll be in our room stress-eating minibar peanuts! You believe this guy? What a baby! No kidding. Look at him running off like a yellow-bellied scaredy cat. Ah! 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 My hiding spot. Get out! No! Someone criticized Teresa at lunch and she turned the cafeteria into the prom scene from Carrie. Oh, let's end this. We'll drive a stake through her heart. That's for vampires. Don't you know anything about the supernatural? Ugh, if you went to Catholic school, you'd know this stuff. You're hiding from Teresa, too? Sure. She's Malocchio and people left and right like a drunken gunslinger. But I got a plan. I'm sick of being pushed around by that power-crazed little psycho. <sighs> oh, hi, baby. How's my favorite girl? Hey, sis, you look so good. Ah, crap, I can't do this. Just at me right now. <laughs> Ha <laughs> ha!
This still beats sucking your bony butt, I'll tell you that much. Baccarat! Oh, what for Dom and do? Gentlemen, welcome. Join us. The game's poker, but these fops think it's Baccarat. They don't speak English, nor do they understand cards. It's like taking candy from several sleazy babies. Excuse me, are you Starch McCool? The one and only, good sir. I need to talk to you about something from your past. My past, eh? In that case, I'll pour you a drink. What's your poison? Cognac? Absinthe? Lithuanian discount? Cola? Hmm, that discount cola's pretty good. He's getting away. I got an idea. All right, let's get him. We gotta ditch some weight to go faster. Oh. The air's so thin up here, I can hardly move. I got this. Did the Marquis of Catalonia send you because I slept with his sister? What? No! Is this about the gun smuggling to the Congo? Please, do you expect those child soldiers to arm themselves? No! Straight McCool sent me because you slept with his mom. This is the riot of my life! Coincidentally, that's exactly what I said to Straight's mother. All right, kid. I'm taking away your allowance, I'm grounding you, and I shredded your driver's license. Ma, what the hell are you doing? I'm teaching Teresa values. Give me that stuff back, or I'm gonna super triple Pinocchio ya! You haven't got the balls. Ew, yeah, no, I don't have balls, but that's got nothing to do with this. <laughs> ah, Malocchio'd by your own Malocchio. Eh, that sounds lame. Hoist by your own petard. Not as lame as that. What's gonna happen to me? No! I've gone full frizz! Someone wants to meet you, McCool. Ask him for the money. Hello, Straight. Been a long time. How dare you try to shake my hand? Mother had to take in sewing and moonlight as a dominatrix because of your neglect. And you never came to my birthday parties. I offered to pay, but she refused. Said my money was dirty and ill-gotten from card hustling and shady deals. Not to mention the counterfeit My Little Pony merchandise. That's a lie, damn you! I'm no monster! Why didn't you answer my letters? Did your mother burn them without showing them to you? How would I know? I don't see the resemblance, do you? If it's money you want straight, I'll gladly wire it from my bank in Geneva. But in the meantime, let's make up for all the lost years and get to know each other. <gasps> Son. Wire from Geneva. All this line in the book. As if McCool would fall for that. Oh, Papa! Oh, straight! <laughs> oh, Jesus. Are you nuts inviting this guy to stay with you? He's a con man! Let he who is without sin cast the first stone. What is that, the Beatles? The Bible, Jimmy! Oh, must have skimmed that part. Jimmy's right. I've been a deadbeat, and I said all the same things that he's saying to you. Just not as fancy. But he's my father. He'd never lie to me. Come straight. Let's do all the things I missed when you were growing up. Start with giving him lots of money. Oh, we're changing his diapers. I hear that's real nice. Why are you dressed like a female gym teacher? I tried washing my clothes. The washer caught fire and burned them. This stupid curse is the worst. <laughs> ah! Are you kidding me? How'd this get in here? The Malocchio works in mysterious ways. Help me, Ma. I want to be rid of this. All right, but it's going to be tough. First, I need your picture. Wait, I should do my hair. <laughs>
<laughs> All right, Staunch, where's the money? Patience, Jimmy, it's on the way, isn't it, Dad? Indeed. I spoke to my bank manager, Hans, and he assured me that... Hans? That name sounds as made up as all your excuses. So you doubt my word, good sir, and I use good sir sarcastically. I'll write straight a check for the full amount. I bet that ain't worth the paper it's printed on. Actually, it's gold flake paper. Very expensive. Oh, real nice, Dad. This is from my Cayman Island account. It'll take a day or two to clear. Oh, Christ, another dodge. Jimmy, until this check clears, I don't want to see you, understood? Unless there's witness protection business, or if you need anything, or if you just need a chat. But outside of that, you are persona non grata while my father is visiting. Good day, sir. Okay, I'm ready. What do we do? Sit, my child. Here's the thing about the Malocchio. The curse wears off after a while, but there's always the danger of being recursed. One could say it's a recursive curse. Or one could shut up and let Mama talk. Sorry. Anyway, Teresa, I can't take the evil eye away from you, but I can do this. Gina? Did you put those pictures online? Not yet, we didn't. But if you ever give anyone in this house the Malocchio again... Your social life goes kablooey. Uh-uh-uh. Okay, you win. I'll learn to control it. For the record, recursive means occurring repeatedly. And since we're on the subject of a curse that can reoccur, recursive is a doubly amusing wordplay because... No one can! All right, we gotta prove once and for all that McCool's pop is a no good grifter, and we'll do it by breaking into his house. <laughs> Actually, let's just use the door. Canucks always leave them unlocked. Ah, oh, Jimmy! It's breaking and entering, not entering. <laughs> Stupid. Elvis Stoico's quadruple jump! What are you two doing? We got him, McCool, and we got him red-handed. I told you my red hands were from eating pistachios. Looky here. Credit cards, and not a single one with his name on it. Passports from different countries, different aliases. And a bag of mustaches. I'll bet this one ain't even real. Ow! It's real, you twit! He's a flim-flam man. We just can't figure out if he's flimming ya or flamming ya. I assure you, my intent is neither to flim nor to flam. Then why do you got McCool's banking information written down here? For the money I owe him! But, but I didn't give you that information. I found your bank book. I had every intention of ripping you off! Don't listen to them, son! They're idiots! They couldn't find tart at her and feather me, so they used maple syrup. Jimmy kept drinking it. Then Cheech tried to get feathers out of a foam pillow for an hour! Straight, I am not a good man. In fact, if I didn't escape from Morocco when I did, I wouldn't still be a man at all. But I never lied to you. Not my own flesh and blood. But he did break your window. <laughs> is crowning. I can't believe I ran my own father out of town on a rail. Literally, the 315 to BC. You did the right thing. Sooner or later, he would have ripped you off and ripped out your heart. Which would not be as gross as what I'm looking at right now. I was blinded by the need for a father figure. But who needs that when one has such good friends? You still owe me the money. <sighs> I know, Jimmy. I know. Oh, I finally gave horse a name, didn't I? Diefenbaker. <laughs> Excuse me a moment. Special Agent Straight McCool. Here it comes! Ew. Ew. Ah. Um, that's not a horse, that's a mule. Hmm, that's interesting. Oh, Jesus Christ. What? Mules happen when horses do it with a donkey. Cookie's fucking wardrobe was knocked up when we bought her. Good news, you're off the hook. Thief and Baker ain't the father. No, splendid, because if I did have to pay you, I have the money. My father's check cleared. Oh? He was telling the truth, Jimmy. My long lost father was telling the truth the whole time. How do you like that? I was so sure he was a dirtbag. Well, I guess we better sue the guy who sold us a pregnant horse. Perfect. <laughs> 
I'll go get my lawyer wig. Yo, McCool, can I count on you as a witness? For Canada, where apparently a jackass can ride a jackass. <laughs> hey, Jimmy, <laughs> can I go next? La 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 how you doing? It's me, Gina. Yeah, I'm driving. I'm not wearing a seatbelt, neither. Blow me. Before Pops became the fattest stool pigeon in history, he was my hero. If there was an award for Father of the Year, Pop would have got it. Dog Francesco says hello. <laughs> <laughs> then this happens. So I look at the FBI guy and say, you stinking feds can blow me. I ain't testifying against nobody. Then the man from the fed says, but the mob is going to kill you and your whole family, Jimmy. You with me so far, kid? I get it. You're turning rats. Just wait. There's more. If you testify, we can give you immunity. Do you know what immunity means? Enough with the fucking puppets! <laughs> oh! Now, Pops is the puppet, and the feds are the ones pulling the strings. This is the thanks I get for saving all your lives. And if you don't think I'm better off dead than living in Canada's icy butt crack, forget about it. Let me tell you something about a friend of ours named Jimmy. I made the wise guy and the capo with the gambini. But when he found out that they'd be whacking Uncle Cheech, he'd take the boss, he threw him from the 19th floor suite. Wasn't much along till the mob all went in dead. So Jimmy had no choice but to talk to all the feds. The feds would say they helped if they could use him as a pawn. So he ratted out his friends and moved to Saskatchewan. Forget about it. Forget about it. Forget about it. Oh, forget about it. You clowns think you can avoid me? We have nap time together every day. Now cough it up. The new kid already took our money. What are you little crap stains trying to pull? Who's this new kid? <sighs> Just give me another wedgie and let me go. Another wedgie? <laughs> Who gave you the first one? Ah, oh, this is gonna be fun. <laughs> yeah! Hide behind the skinniest statue on Earth, dumbass. I know this looks bad, but for once, I'm innocent. I think the furnace is on the fritz. What's 10 degrees in American? Dunno. Depends on the exchange rate. Apologies for the intrusion, but I'm here to save the day. What's with the pantyhose? It's a unitard. I'm Maple Man. Maple Man? Canadian superhero? Fighting minor infractions and belligerents everywhere? You look unitotted, Captain Leaf. <gasps> Teresa, why are you dressed up as Sapling Girl? Maple Man's trusty sidekick, who's always getting him out of sticky situations? I'm just wearing what they gave me for my job as a booth babe at Regina Comic Con. <gasps> Do you know what this means? Of course not. You'll be working with Bentley Withermoon, the renowned actor who plays Terrence Timber, a.k.a. Maple Man! Sounds like a lot of nerds. I better bring my pepper spray. Teresa, you have to introduce me to him. So much of my belief system is based on the teachings of Maple Man. Well, it's a hundred bucks for an autograph, three hundred for a photo, or a thousand to brush his hair. I have to go sell my stamp collection. Hey, can I borrow your brush? Gina! You have irreparably damaged school spirit here at Celine Dion Elementary. Don't worry, our hearts will go on. The only place that'll accept you now, my dear, is Our Lady of Peace School for Wayward Girls. Not the nuns. No! Anything but the nuns! That's right. Enjoy that juice while you still can. <laughs> the only snacks the nuns will give you are warm holy water and stale body of Christ. Yummy! <gasps> Hmm. 
Thank you for coming, Mr. McDougal. I came as soon as I got your call. You got a real sultry phone voice. Well, I'm afraid Gina's in a great deal of trouble. Your fancy skeleton statue nearly crushes her, and she's the one in trouble? You got a lot of nerve, Professor. Next thing you know, she'll be blaming you for this hat that I stole off the special ed kid. Well, we talked her down to a one-day suspension. Pretty good for your old man, huh? Just wait till I get my hands on that kid who framed me. Knock out his teeth for me, will you? I miss reading Rainbow for this. Five seconds and I'll be shaking hands with a syndicated television legend. Okay, that's it for today. Maple Syrup Man will be back tomorrow. For some reason. Teresa! Teresa! Introduce me! Uh, Tabitha, I had some notes regarding your booth babing skills. Shall we discuss them over a drink? Sorry, I left my fake ID at home. <laughs> Don't worry. No one asks for ID in my hotel room. <laughs> yeah, no. I'm really tired from wincing at people's breath all day. Most girls in your position would leap at the chance to get a few tips from an industry veteran. Sorry you were in the war, but thanks anyway. See you tomorrow! Teresa, you gotta introduce me to- Buzz off, nerd! <laughs> Oh, Edie, I didn't recognize you in your pajamas. Can I ask you a question? Shoot. You ever worried at... I said shoot. Come on, it's your turn. Oh, right. <laughs> you missed. What a loser. Cheech, you ever worry things are slipping out of your control? Yeah, but I got special underpants for that. It's this mystery kid at school. He's haunting me. And I don't even know what he looks like. The kid without a face? How am I supposed to sleep now? Let me tell you, Francis Bacon once said... No, wait, it was Kevin Bacon. He said, knowledge is power. Yeah, I should snoop around, find out who this kid is. Good idea, Cheech. Oh, and if you call me a loser again, I'll slice your fucking nuts off. Ooh, you're tough, but fair. <laughs> Get the file on the new kid and check the teacher's lounge for snacks. Not in that order. What the hell is this? In case you gotta hack into the mainframe or some shit. Hey, why is my locker open? What the hell is this? It's a picture of the best summer of my life. <gasps> Carmine! I'm back! Oof. That's for getting me suspended. Not that I care, but still. And that's for breaking Celine Dion. Oh, what was that for? That's because I missed you. I'm impressed. Must have took a lot of determination to track us down. You know, your pop killing my pop and all, it, it gets you out of bed in the morning. That, and I wanted to see you again. Muscling in on my marks was a nice touch. And you're short. Shut up! I grew one and a quarter inches since last summer. I mean on the vig, you chiseling mook. I got expenses. Taking a cab all the way from Brooklyn wasn't cheap. The meat is still running. You want to lift to your house? What was I, born yesterday? Come on, I'm going to find Cheech sooner or later. Hopefully sooner. These vendettas take a lot out of you. Well, good luck finding him. The guy's a phantom. He lives in the shadows and moves as silent as a warm breeze. Hurry up, Gina. Cheech Falcone is getting bored! Anyway, Carmine, I ain't gonna make getting the Cheech easy for you. I wouldn't want you to. Last time I had any real fun was when you and me mixed it up at camp. You mean when I kicked your ass? How do you know I didn't let you kick my ass? And the gloves are off. <laughs> if you say so. I left you a juice box and some crackers. See you soon. You backstabbing son of a whore! Open this door! Fruit punch. Oh, you remembered my favorite! What's she doing here? Replacing someone who doesn't know how to play ball. Oh, I know how. Just not with yours. Sadly, Tabitha, you lack the talent to portray a convincing sapling girl. Like it takes talent to have a unitard jammed up your butt. I'll have you know I majored in unitards at Juilliard. Come on, Petey. Let's get away from Doctor Who wants me to touch his wiener. But I sold my stamp collection. I told you the furnace wouldn't fix itself. 
Now the toilet water's frozen. I know. I've been chipping yellow ice all night trying to get my cell phone out. Chase dropped a deuce and it's just sitting there, mocking me. That's it. I'm calling the repairman. Is Cheech here? Nope. Damn it! Between you and me, you don't really like Cheech much, do ya? What are you talking about? He's great! I mean, he's all right. He means well. Actually, he does it, but he's my uncle! What do you want? But if he wasn't around no more, we'd be okay, right? Maybe you would, but who the hell would I hang out with? What, did you kill him? How do you do it? Me and Ma have a bet. <laughs> Holy crap! I was kidding around! You did kill him! Jesus Christ, Gita! I didn't touch him! I haven't seen him since last night! <laughs> it's all my fault! Kid, relax. I saw him an hour ago. He went to them Nerd Olympics with Teresa. Why do you think he was dead? I'll tell you on the way. Come on. And I wasn't crying. What do you mean you can't get here for two days? It's so cold, I can see Cheech's breath. I thought Comic-Con was gonna be a comedy show for convicts, you know, where every punchline is, don't drop the soap. <laughs> you know who should be in prison? Bentley Withamoon. He almost was, three times, but he always got off. It's ironic, nothing sticks to Maple Man. Why are you sticking up for him? The guy's a pig. He's not a pig. He's the product of the forbidden love between man and maple tree. You just can't see the real him past your nerd boner. By the way, you should wear a jock under that costume. Man, I ain't seen so much butt crack since we extorted the plumber's union. Maybe there was something else you did wrong? He fired me because I wouldn't put out. What? Guy sounds like a creep. No respect for the ladies. Yo, space jugs. Let's see if I can come in peace. Cookie, shame on you for even thinking of calling a repairman when you have me. A housewife? Alone? A repairman? Oh, that reminds me of a dirty movie I saw. <laughs> <laughs> Does it? Strange. Ah, there's nothing like using your hands to bring back the heat. Good thing I brought my big tool. That was a line in the movie. <gasps> Did you ever appear I don't know what you're referring to, Cookie. I'm just here to perform some sweaty, dirty work. That's another line! Ah, you're the Randy Repairman! Damn my gambling days. I knew that video would come back to haunt me. Sir, can I see your wristband? <laughs> How is this the first I'm hearing about Gambini's kid? What, I gotta tell you every little thing? You do when our lives are at stake? What if he squealed on us to the mob? Then we'd be having this conversation in hell. The day Cheech gets taken out by a six-year-old, I'll leave my shirt. Well, get ready to choke down some polyester, because this kid's the real deal. Got a little crush there, kid? Yeah. I mean, no! Shut up, dumbass! All right, to be continued. Now, let's find Cheech quick before we wind up relocated to Yellow Horse or White Knife or some fucking place. <gasps> God, you can almost smell the virginity in here. Hello? I'm down here. How you doing? I'm Gina's friend. That's funny, because Gina doesn't have any friends. Oh, you calling me a liar, Gina's mom? Nobody calls me a liar. Where do you get off? What, did somebody drop a deuce in your cereal this morning? Get dried up, old floozy? Oh, yeah, okay, now it makes sense. Come on in and wait for her. So, what's a guy got to do to get some milk and cookies around here? Oh, you're a hungry little spark plug, ain't ya? <laughs> yeah, hungry for revenge. <laughs> Good one. Hello? Cookie? Nice to finally meet you, Cheech. You're bigger than I imagined. Has everyone seen my movie? Who wants cookies? Hey, where'd you go? Ah! Oh my god, oh my god! <gasps> hey, you're not Cheech. No shit, you little monster. Oh, Jesus, McCool! Oh, oh. Where did it go? Where did it go? It's gone. <gasps> Hold me, Randy. Tighter, quick.
Cookie, get a hold of yourself. Who was that crazed demon child? It was Gina's friend. Oh, that explains a lot. But why was he have to cheat? I don't know. Let's go down to the comic book convention and ask him. A comic book convention? And I get to kill Cheech? Double win! Jeez, I hope Pop's having better luck finding Cheech than I am. Psst. Ow, Gina! That's for locking me in my locker. Thanks for the snacks, though. Hey, can I ask you something? Say you do off Uncle Cheech. What next? Oh, I got plans. I want you and me to run away together. Hit the open road like Bonnie and Clyde. You want to get gunned down in slow motion at the end of an old movie? No, I mean the bank robbing parts. But none of the kissy parts. Ew, you're gross. Maybe the huggy parts. Don't get your hopes up, sicko. But look, do you really gotta kill my uncle? Of course I do. Good luck finding Cheech in this joint. The man's a master of disguise and concealment. He could be standing right behind me, and you'd never know. Yo, Gina, spot your Uncle Cheech a couple of bucks for a slice, will you? Damn it! I've been looking for you, mister. Not another one. Look, Junior, I know what you're thinking, but I ain't your father. Holy crap, you're even dumber than the legends. Time to put you out of my misery. Yo, look, everybody! It's a midget from Game of Thrones! <laughs> They never look as tall in person. But this is official police business. Let me in. Not until I see a wristband, sir. Can we wrap this up soon, sugar cheeks? Oh, I'm getting right as cramp. Oh! What's the meaning of this, you me wannabe? In season one, episode four of The Adventures of Maple Man, you vow to stand against injustice no matter where it occurred even if the hour was late and the location less than convenient. If you want to quote the show to me, that's an extra $60. Silence! Maple Man stands for fairness, equality, and decency. You stand for none of those things, you egocentric, misogynist hypocrite! How dare you! How dare you, sir! You have no right to fill the sacred Maple Man unitard. Security? Sure, hide behind your goons. Oh, hi, Jetsy. Ah! <laughs> Maple Man, thank God you're here. I fell through this table. Uh, would Cheech McDougal please proceed to the information desk? That's the big table near the front door. If you get confused, tell a grown-up you're lost. Uh, over and out. Well, if it ain't Jimmy Falcone. Oh, come on! Look at you, excuse me! Teach McDougal, do not come to the information desk! Repeat, do not make up your mind! Gee, kid, you got the same psychotic spark in your eye as your old man. I also got his propensity for violent blood-soaked revenge. And his inability to whistle. Kid, look, I owe you a huge apology. I'm sorry for what happened with your pops. He was a, well, I won't say a good man. He was a man. Let's leave it at that. You call that half-ass tap dance an apology? You murderized him. He was gonna kill my uncle, then I would have had to kill him back, so we skipped a step. But don't take it out on Cheech. I'm the guy you want. Don't worry. I promised Gina I'd never touch you. Who's worried? But that's nice. She's a good kid. Oh, she's great. Easy there, Romeo. But listen, you kinda already got your revenge on me. How do you figure? Look at me, look around you. I'm living like a schmuck here. I mean, my life ain't bad, but it's a far fucking cry from good, know what I mean? Oh, uh, for Christ's sake, for the last time, kid. I never been your mother. <sighs> Let me tell you something, you ignominious little snot stain. I am a classically trained actor. If it weren't for all the money I make and during these weekends with you halitosis-ridden cretins, I'd never be caught dead in this asinine outfit providing masturbatory fantasy fodder for overgrown adolescent twerps. And furthermore, I hate Canada and Maple Man can gobble my knob! <gasps> Did you get that, Teresa?
He's a one-take wonder. And post. I hate Canada, and Maple Man can gobble my knob! You look fat in that suit. Oh. Teresa! That's not nice. What? Bitch took my job. I told you I wouldn't make this easy for you, so you're gonna have to go through me. You know, for a guy you can't stand, you sure do seem to care a lot about Cheech. Trust me, this is killing me. I'm gonna regret it the next time he opens his mouth. Wait a sec. Does your mother do hoop waxes down at the Korean spa? See what I mean? <sighs> <sighs> All right. I changed my mind about off and Cheech, but not about... What? That sounds mushy. So, spit it out. Nah, some things are better left unsaid. What are you, chicken? Shut up! I'm no chicken. You're a chicken! Yeah, yeah, I'm rubber, you're glue. Just shut the f*** up and tell me! <sighs> I didn't change my mind about how much I like you. Um, I'm glad about that. And being glad hurts my face. You make my face hurt too, Gina. So, what do you say you and me shake down a couple of these booths? Why not? These dorks have been bullied all their lives. They know the drill. Hey! <gasps> You're under arrest for assaulting a police officer, young man. It's maximum security juvie for you. It'll be no picnic, my fine friend. Lights out by ten and only four hours of social media per day. McCool! Wait! Aww. Aww. Guess I'll have to take a rain check. Guess so. But those blowjob screws won't keep me down for long. You gonna wait for me? Pah, screw that. That's my gal. Well, son, I hope you picked up some comics to read where you're going. For Canada! A dumping ground for American culture since 1867! <laughs> More north. Yes, Jimmy, and this is where we'll be until I'm certain the elusive Carmine Gambini is no longer a threat. How soon did he give you the slip? Somewhere between the washrooms and the parking lot. That's my boy. Petey, did you see how many hits our Maple Man video got? Yeah, but look what they're calling it. Idiot fan pwned by Maple Man. I can't take this no more. I'm walking home. I'll just head south. How hard can it be? Which way is south? We're so far north, it's all friggin' south! Oh, God! Saskatchewan, la 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 How you doing? I'm Jimmy Falcone, now known as McDougal. They say there's two things you can't avoid in life, death and taxes. Wise guys don't pay taxes, which only leaves death. Back in the old neighborhood, the funeral home was doing great business. The guy who ran the place was rolling in dough, strutted around like he owned a frickin' neighborhood. So, we took over the joint. You're fired. <laughs> At first, it was great, but after a while, my guys were so busy working funerals, none of them were out on the street causing the funerals. I realized you can be a gangster or an undertaker, but you can't be both. Now I live in Regina, Saskatchewan, which is about as much fun as a funeral home. And it's got more stiffs. <laughs> I actually find Regina relaxing. Petey, this town's D.O.A. Forget about it. Let me tell you something about a friend of ours named Jimmy. I made the wise guy and the capo with the gambini. But when he found out that they'd be whacking Uncle Cheech, he'd take the boss, he threw him from the 19th floor suite. 
Wasn't much along till the mob all wants him dead. So Jimmy had no choice but to talk to all the feds. The feds say they helped if they could use him as a pawn. So he ratted out his friends and moved to Saskatchewan. Forget about it. Forget about it. Forget about it. Oh, forget about it. And I am sick and tired of your shenanigans. Every time you and Cheech get into one of your mishaps, Canadian taxpayers have to foot the bill. You're making a mountain out of moleskin, McCool. Calm down. I will not. You are on very thin ice here, Jimmy. Okay, okay, I see what this is about. How much we talking? That is hardly going to cover the cost of this latest debacle. What debacle? It's a couple of cows. This is gonna be great. We're gonna have steak on demand. I pumped them full of steroids, so they're extra beefy. Ah. Sorry, Jimmy, but my superiors were very clear on the matter. One more mistake, one more hijink, one more incident, and you will be expelled from witness protection. Good day to you, sir. For Canada, where there is a limit to the taxpayer's goodwill. You guys won't believe what happened. Petey got a date? No, I got a summer job! No way! Good for you, kid. I remember my first job. I made a mint off that blue-tinted peanut brittle. What kind of job is it? That's what I want to know, but Teresa won't tell me. Well, I could tell you. Or I could show you. I don't like this. Suppose her summer job is whacking us. You been drinking paint dinner again? Think about it. She tricks us with this BS job story, drives us to the middle of nowhere, and pow! Remind me to compliment her before I put one in a dimple. That's my firstborn you're talking about! If anyone's gonna shoot her, it'll be me. All right, take off the blindfolds. Holy crap! We're all the way back in New York! Teresa, were you speeding? What did we say about speeding, young lady? It's like a dream! Except Mama's not chasing me with the knife. I knew it! She set us up! Ah, it's good to be back. And cut! What? That's a wrap! We're not actually in New York. I got a job on a big Hollywood movie filming right here in Regina! So this is a set? What's the movie? It's called Wise Guys vs. Aliens. That sounds arty farty. Wait, was there a casting couch involved when you got hired? No, I'm just an assistant. It's actually a really easy job. Standing around all day sure is hard on your feet. Please, take my chair. I'll sit on the floor. Oh, thanks, Mr. Spielberg. I better get to work. I got ten long hours of sitting, eating, and texting ahead of me. Kid sounds like an old pro already. Come on, let's take a look around. Wait, I know this door. Rizzo! Open up or I'll break your legs. You still owe me a C note. Rizzo! Rizzo! Rizzo's been dead for 10 years, you moron! Nice try, Rizzo. <laughs> what do you want, Kojak? I ain't touching that. What is it? I'm talking to you, Professor X. Wait, Gina, that's a Buddhist monk. You don't talk. I think he's on mute. It's called a vow of silence. Dear parent or guardian, a vision has foretold that a child in this home may be the reincarnation of the Bali Lama. The who, the what now? The Bali Lama. It's just like the Dalai Lama, except from Bali. Wow, I always knew I was special, but not this special. I am honored. What? Her? Oh, you gotta be shitting me. High priests will soon arrive to determine the veracity of the vision. Please prepare. I ain't giving no priest no eye test, you got it? Now get the hell out of here! Jackpot, 50 Gs. That's Indonesian money. It's only worth five bucks. Says the guy who is not the Baldi Lama. <laughs> Jesus! 
Canadian coffee tastes like dishwater filtered through dirty underpants. Get me an espresso! Mm. You know, I could get used to all this movie magic. And by magic, I mean free sandwiches. Hey, look at this. I've been here 10 minutes, and already I got a trailer. Why do you get a trailer? What kind of low-rent flick is this? Hey! Get out of my trailer! If anyone should be banging a bimbo in that Winnebago, it's me! Relax, it's probably just some guy with the same name as you. You mean like my evil twin? Cheech, look back on your life. If you was twins, you would not be the good one. Freaking goody two-shoes, always stealing my girls. Did I ever tell you ladies about the time when my nephew, Jimmy Falcone, whacked the DA with a frozen fish? We knew the cops were gonna be onto us, so to get rid of the evidence, we ate the fish! Oh, what are you talking about? Hey, speaking of what just happened? I never met that guy in my life, and I never killed nobody with a fish. I just fed him to live ones. This is identical theft. That son of a bitch is pretending he's me! And he's not even as handsome. Yo, Petey, I've been thinking about it. I'm gonna do this thing. You know, with uh, butt monkeys. Buddhist monks. Yeah, that's the one. Religion's a cash grab, and I want a piece. I just need to fool them monks long enough to start bilking my followers. You know what? I think I'll help you. You? Mr. Squeaky Clean No Balls? Why? Because I think the simple, gentle wisdom of the Buddha may just penetrate your heart. Like water through cracks in stone. Whatever. But if you screw this up, I'm gonna crack you with a stone. <laughs> All right, Jimmy, I'm calling in every favor you owe me. Help me whack this scumbag. Since when do I owe you any favors? He's disrespecting a Falcone name and he's making money off it. Which kind of makes me respect the guy. Cheech, what the hell are you doing? Phony Cheech is about to go to work for Industrial Light and Tragic. <gasps> Teresa, watch out! It's okay, it's okay. Teresa's fine. Yeah, we're gonna need five more Canadians. All right, you moron. How'd you steal my face? Whoa, Cheech Falcone, what are you doing here? Hey, Jimmy, since we're playing the name game, you mind telling us yours so we can put it on your tombstone? It's me, Enzo, uh, from Brooklyn. I narrow it down a little, I know like 50 Enzos from Brooklyn. Enzo Pistone. I ran Pistone's Pizzatoria. Uh, you guys ordered from me all the time. Why you into personating Cheech? Ah, it's like this. I always wanted to be a director in Hollywood, but who's gonna hire a guy that smells like anchovies? So take a shower. When you guys disappeared, I got an idea. I moved to LA, shaved my head, slapped on a mustache, and pretended to be Cheech. <laughs> what are you, insane? Why Cheech? There's no way I could pull off being you, Jimmy. I don't smoke. Anyway, I got a job as an advisor on mob movies. They call me Il Consultieri. The hell do you know about being a good fella? Nothing. I just tell them stuff I know from other mob movies. Bada boom, bada bing. I'm a gonna shoot a you. I'm a shoot a you. You do realize there's a contract out on Cheech. So what? I'm in Hollywood. They're great at keeping secrets, especially once you join Scientology. What's this? <laughs> it's a sweet gig, Jimmy. I get free food, they pay me in cash, I got a fancy car to drive, and a hotel room you wouldn't believe. Congrats, Enzo. You just got some partners. He had me at free food. This is called a sand mandala. It's an exercise in the transitory nature of life. I guess it's pretty easy to impress them boobists. Mother f Why'd you do that? Now I gotta start over! Gina, the picture is no longer a picture, but the sand remains sand. Petey, use your freaking head! This kindergarten crap ain't gonna cut it. If we're gonna oppress these monks, we gotta do something big. Like a steak dinner and a couple of hookers. All right, Enzo, here's the deal. Me and Cookie are gonna spend a couple of nights here living in the laps of luxury. And I'm gonna live in your trailer. I mean, my trailer. And where am I supposed to sleep? 
They gave you a car, didn't they? I'm above the line. I can't sleep in my car like uh, some kind of teamster. Enzo, don't kid yourself. Your days in Tinseltown are numbered. I saw a clip from this flopperoni pizza you're cooking up. I'm -a gonna shoot to you. Don't look at me. It's them hack Hollywood writers. <laughs> much fun! I ain't been this relaxed in months! Exploiting another human being for my own amusement just melts the tension. Must be the bellhop with the new bed. Took him long enough. Oh! Uh, is that the guy whose car we hit with the TV? Nah, Canucks don't shoot. They just give you a respectful talking to. I think Hollywood Enzo ratted us out. You could have took that guy. I left my gun in my pants. Like you need a gun. True, but I don't fight naked. Learn that lesson from one nut nunzio. Ah! Turn around. I don't want the whole world seeing your cans in my sausage. Oh, memory foam really works. I'm still not tipping them. You tried to have me killed. What are you talking about? Don't act all innocent, you little rat. You called the mob on me, didn't you? Really? Why would I do that? I might be a liar and a faker, but I ain't no backstabber. If I was, I'd already be directing movies. Well, watch your back, Francis Fraud Coppola. Cause someone's after you. A guy just shut up your hotel room. Time for me to make my exit. If that guy went to the hotel, he'll probably go to my trailer next. Cheech! We gotta warn Cheech! Oh no, Cheech! My uncle, my friend, my bookie. That moon showed me 20 grand! <laughs> you happy now, pizza guy? You got my uncle killed! Sure, he might have been a moron, but he was my moron! Ah, Jimmy, there'll be other morons, you'll see. Not like Cheech, there won't. When they made him, they broke the mold. Probably in shame, but still! I swear to God, if I had my gun, I'd shoot you. But as it stands, I gotta choke you. I don't know if I'll gotta. <coughs> What did he do? Stay out of this, Cheech! Cheech! I thought you was dead! Dead? Ah, I just went out for some chewing gum and condoms. <laughs> Canadian gum tastes like rubber. <gasps> my own! My girls! They were all in there! Candy, Sherry, Brittany, and Ethel! Poor Ethel! She was ugly, Jimmy, but willing. So willing! <laughs> It's true! My little sister is the reincarnation of the Bali Lama! That's Ms. Bali Lama to you. How did you do that? Gina, you can't fool those monks. You're either the Lama or you're not. When them guys get here, keep your mouth shut, or the Queen of Peace is gonna cut you. Jimmy, we need to call McCool. No way! McCool's been on my case, and I don't want to rock the boat. I can handle this. But what if the hitman recognized us at the hotel? It was dark. We was naked. Trust me, he wasn't looking at our faces. I think I'm gonna go back to L.A. to focus on my directing career. If I ever get a movie made, I'll invite you all to the premiere. 
I'll need a plus four. Ethel and the girls are gonna need some cheering up when they get out of the burn ward. You ain't going nowhere. You're laying low here until we're sure that hitman's out of town. And the kids should stay home, too. Teresa! She's at work. James Cameron gave her a lift. Nice guy. Drives a submarine. <laughs> Necklace. <laughs> Funny, whenever I'm in this position, there's a necklace involved. Hello? Um, Daddy? There's a man here who says he's gonna shoot me unless you and Cheech give yourselves up. Oh, and did you know there's a guy on this movie named Cheech Falcone? Weird, huh? You tell that son of a bitch not to lay a finger on you. Hurry, Daddy! He's treating me real brutal. What did he do to you? He took away my chair and won't give me a latte. Man, that kid's really gone Hollywood. If bullets start flying, Cheech, you hit the deck. Enzo, you're my human shield. Okay. Wait, what? It means he trusts you. Whatever it is, McCool, I don't have time. There's been a number of incidents, Jimmy. A hotel shooting, an explosion on a movie set. Please tell me you're not involved. Define involved. So, instead of reporting the possible breach of security, you exploit the situation for some cheap thrills. And free food. Don't forget the free food. I have to call in the special tactical team. This is going to cost thousands. Jimmy, I am so angry with you, I could... Jeez, I thought Canadians were supposed to be nice. And you can kiss witness protection goodbye. Even if we get the hitman, every good fella in North America will be gunning for you. Or will they? Gentlemen, I's got an idea. And? Spit it out, Scorsese. Jimmy, first rule of directing, dramatic tension. All right. I don't get it. <laughs> The High Priests apologized. The Vision was mistaken? No! The Vision was right! I'm the freaking Bali Lama, I swear to God! You guys believe in God, right? Because I'm him! Her! It! You need a mint. <laughs> Stupid girl, you're not the Bali Lama. You're the embodiment of evil. Ah, sh A 30-year vow of silence down the crapper. Ow! What did I do? I hope you get reincarnated as a tapeworm in a starving donkey. Gina, look! They had the right vision, but the wrong address. Should we tell them to come back? Nah, f that guy. Hi, Daddy! Hi, honey! We'll have you out of there in a minute! He says to drop your guns! First, he lets you go! Guns first! Why don't he just tell us himself? He's self conscious about his accent! And he likes my perfume! Wait! I believe this is the man you're looking for. You were sent here to kill Cheech Falcone, and this is Cheech Falcone. You bastard! You got my best friend killed! Again! So what? You morons ruined the perfectly good scam I had going. I'm gonna shoot you! They are all dead. Enzo, you might be a terrible technical advisor, but you are one hell of a director. Thanks, Jimmy. 
Looks like we're in the clear. The mob thinks you're dead, and I didn't have to report anything. All's well that ends well. Hey, what about me? I took a real bullet. Yeah, but you had a bulletproof vest. I took it off. It was clammy. Piston Productions. What? Really? Oh, no way. Thanks. I just got offered a directing gig on a Canadian movie. Congrats, pal. Good luck. We should probably take him in. He knows too much about us. No need, Jimmy. He's directing a Canadian film. He'll never be heard from again. Saskatchewan, la 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 Greetings, friends and potential bullies. Before Pop bravely tattled on the mob, there was a time when he had to go what wise fellas and good guys refer to as straight. Why are you crying? I just got this hot-ass parole officer who's <laughs> making me get a regular job! That's for getting pinched in the first place. Once Pop's shattered testes healed, he was well on his way to rehabilitation. Give me two abortions in a basket, double tap and bloody rye toast. Coming right up! First National's got a payroll coming in. You know what to do. Confused, Pop. I understand why you work here, but why does Cheech? The guy likes eggs. What do you want from me? Okay, but Uncle Aldo also works here, and Uncle Sammy, Tootie Marcone, and isn't that Don Gambini delivering milk? <gasps> Petey, shut up. If I didn't know better, I'd think you were still running your organization under the very nose of the New York parole system. Kid, I'm on the straight and narrow. Just trust me, will ya? You once said that trust me was gangster talk for f you. Oh, if my suspicions prove true, I will be very disappointed, Pop. Very disappointed. Thanks for waiting till my kid left. All right, hands up! This is a bust! I had to do another 18 months because of your big mouth. Now that we live in Regina, Pop works a legitimate job every day, and I've never been prouder of him. <laughs> That's for being a rat, which reminds me. <laughs> if you think I'm ever gonna forgive you for that, forget about it. Forget about it. Forget about it. Oh, forget about it. Petey, I know what's going on in there, and it sure ain't clean. Your son's in there, pile driving his crotch into a coma. Bust the door down! Why would you want to see that? Oh. oh my god! Pull him up! He must have fainted from shame. <laughs> what the hell? Between you and me, jerk Cousteau, that is not how you masturbate. So what the heck is an Ocean Lab 6? It's a three-month undersea education program I was accepted to, but it's prohibitively expensive. I was underwater so no one would see my tears. When it comes to my kids, there's no such thing as prohibitionally expensive. How much we talking? Whoa, yeah, that ain't happening. I've never had to say this in my life, but I can't afford that. Nice going. Now your father's drowning his sorrows in hot sauce, you selfish little prick. Leave him alone. It's not his fault I'm a workaday schmuck who can't afford underwater nerd school. <sighs> On top of that, I went and ruined my breakfast. I can help with one of them problems. I used to make this for Don Gambini. The man was a notorious overspicer. He'd cover his cannelloni in pepper flakes, and then he'd piss and moan about how hot it was. And when he pissed and moaned, chefs lost their thumbs. Holy crap, these taste like eggs again. The spice is gone. Like I said behind the Don's back. You're welcome, you whiny bitch. I think you got the solution to your money problem right there. Cookie's right. We could use this to extort every Indian restaurant in town. Pay up, or the Vindaloo gets it. Have a 
Haven't you idiots figured out there's legal ways to make a buck? Course not. Luckily, I have. Now, let's go take the spice out of life. I thought your family could afford Ocean Lab. Teresa's always got so much expensive clothes and jewelry. She gets those from men I'm not supposed to tell my parents about. My family's taking me camping this weekend to cheer me up. Hey, do you want to come along? Maybe we could comfort each other in our time of mutual disappointment? I literally have no experience in this area, so I'm just gonna ask, are you coming on to me? <laughs> no, silly. Why would I do that? What are you even talking about? Yes. Well then, I'd love to go camping. In fact, I've already pitched my tent. Welcome to Scorpion's Hive the publicly funded show that provides investment opportunities for private venture capitalists. Yay! Has this ever happened to you? Oh no, I overspiced my food. It's burning a hole in my tongue. Jimmy, you're supposed to be at work. Agnes, get back to the office, quick. What if someone needs a map? Hey lady, them spices hot enough for use? My name is Neutralizer, and I'm here to say I'm gonna take all the spice from your spices away. Spice it, yeah. Spice it down. Oh, God, stop it. <laughs> Ming's right. Just tell us about the product so we can rip your new one. It's Spice Neutralizer. You sprinkle it on overly spicy food, and it kills the heat, but not the taste. Who's your target market? Munja cake white people who can't handle a little pepper. What are your sass, figure? Hey. Wasn't I married to you once? You look terrible, Cheech. Oh, man, I walk out on you. You bad man. What's your business plan? To make a crap ton of money and send my kid to space. I import knockoff yoga pants, Belgium video game, and spices. I'm out. Bad idea. As an Irish Canadian, I wasn't even aware food could be spicy. I'm out. I like this idea. But I don't want to invest in it. I prefer to license it from you. What's that mean? It means I do all the work, assume all the risk, pay you half the profits, and you do nothing. You've always wanted to do nothing, Jimmy. Hold out for less than nothing. Are you serious, Pop? You got the money? Yep. Looks like you are going to be sleeping with the fishes. I know you didn't mean that the usual way, but I still peed my pants a little. What am I gonna tell Anna? She invited me camping so we could forget our Ocean Lab disappointment. Could you just enjoy something for once? What she don't know won't hurt her. Howdy, sir. I'm Ron, Anna's dad. This is my wife, Bathsheba. I hope you're up for a rollicking kick in the pants adventure in the wilds of Saskatchewan, Petey. <laughs> and don't worry. I'll see there's no hanky or panky between these kids. We'll keep things as chaste and pure as our Lord Jesus. I'd say have fun, but that's clearly off the table. Bathsheba, stop staring at the man like a harlot. Okay, let's hit the road. Thanks for coming, Petey. I need at least eight inches between you two back here. Move your keister over, son. Let's pass the time with music. Oh, we're going to the mansion on the Happy Day Express. And the letters on the engine are J-E-S-U-S. <laughs> what do you mean you lost the spice neutralizer recipe? Weetin's gonna be here any minute. Just write it down again. I would, but I can't remember it. I only got so much room up here. I can't rememberize the whole recipe and the names of all the hobbits. Ah, crap, that's Weetin. Maybe it's in my other pants. You don't have other pants. Okay, okay. I'll scratch other pants off the list. But that is a lot of zeros. Let's count them again. One. Two. If I didn't know better, I'd think you were stalling me for some reason. He's on to us. Forget it! Okay, look, Cheech lost the formula. We'll find it, we just need time. But I've already bought factories and hired sweatshop workers. Spice Neutralizer launches next week. I'm having several Spice Girls neutralized to mark the occasion. Touch Ginger and I'll cut ya! You have till Monday to produce that formula. Otherwise, I'll have to sue you for misrepresentation. 
Sorry, Jimmy. It's nothing personal, just business. You can't say that! That's my people saying! How does he do that? Cheech, if you don't remember that formula, Wheat Thin's gonna take us for everything we got. I got this, Jimmy. Trust me. Do you mean trust me, trust me, or f you trust me? The nice one. Cheech didn't lose it. Someone stole it. And I bet it was that Ming broad from Scorpion's Hive. That's classy. Blame the Asian. It's got nothing to do with being Asian and everything to do with being Cheech's ex-wife. How much more motive does she need? She's right. You know what they say? Hell hath no flurry like a woman's corns. Are we still in Canada? I don't see this campground anywhere on the map. If you're not on the map, the government can't find you and forcibly re-educate you with the lies of the Antichrist. I see. I'm just gonna retire to my tent for the rest of the weekend. Oh, we don't use tents. We're sleeping in old Archie Bunker here. Do me a favor, son. Take that bag of automatic weapons from the roof rack inside. <laughs> you don't mind if I call you son, do you? We're facing Armageddon together. That makes us family. Uh, what? I'll go set up a perimeter. Oh, darn, I forgot the razor wire. Oh, well, we'll have to rely on prayers and homemade frag mines to keep Satan away. Anna, I'm trying very hard not to freak out, but have I been kidnapped? Sorry. <laughs> Every few months, Mom and Dad drag me out here to wait for the end times. I couldn't face another rapture fail without someone rational to talk to. So you picked me? Oh, that's just great. <gasps> wait. You think I'm rational? That's the hottest thing a girl's ever said to me. Petey, you're downright logical. Ah. And don't worry about my family. They're nutty, but harmless. Petey, the Bible says it's an abomination for a man to lie with another man, so you can't sleep with me in the men's quarters. <laughs> Thankfully, it says nothing about black market assault rifles. <laughs> anyway, you'll be bunking with Anna. What a friend we have! In Jesus. All right, me and Jimmy will muscle that formula away from Ming. You gals go home and sync up your cycles. We're not sending two goons in to intimidate a small boned lady. It needs a woman's touch. Give me the formula, Toots, or I'll rip your freaking lips off. Jesus, Ma! What the hell, big crazy bitch talking about? I'm talking Russian roulette with an automatic, unless you start singing. Oh, Ma, where the hell you been all my life? The formula's gotta be stashed around here someplace. She comes from a very crafty culture. Isn't that a little racist, Cheech? Talk to me when you've spent three weeks in a Chinese finger trap. Oh, God, that's strong. I feel like I've been maced. Nah, mace feels worse than this. See? Ow! Oh, damn it, Cheech! What the hell is wrong with you? I'm trying to illustrate a point. Ow! Daddy! <laughs> oh, my eyes! Still not as bad as mace, but... Oh! Finish up those K rations, kids. They'll keep for 600 years, but they do get stale. How's that filtered urine, Petey? <laughs> ha! Someone just volunteered for first watch tonight. Petey, if anyone tries to get in, shoot first and beg the Lord's forgiveness later. <laughs> That's a joke. You won't need forgiveness for slaughtering whatever unholy abomination comes knocking. Oops, forgot the urine filter. I know this isn't what you expected, Petey. But once Mom and Dad go to sleep, maybe we can... Have a fumbling session of heavy commiserating about Ocean Lab? Very heavy. And very fumbling. Oh, God, you talk so sexy. Oh, there's plenty more inexperienced innuendo where that came from. Oh, no! You shot the urine filter! <laughs> <laughs> Oh, she did it. That leprechaun always whines about not making enough money from the TV show. All right, thanks, Ming. Sorry I pointed a gun at your head. Oh, that's nothing compared to Canadian immigration. Oh! Oh! Teresa did it. That's just great. Now she's suing us, too. Way to go, Cheech. 
How is this in any way my fault? Going on that crazy TV show was Cookie's idea. Don't blame me, you sack of shit. Guys, guys, calm down. We all know this is Petey's fault. No, it's Mon Pops for having a brainiac for a son. Yeah, if he was a moron like the rest of us, this would've never happened. Ah, screw you guys. I'm gonna go talk to O'Shea myself. Unlike you idiots, I know how to get things done. You're supposed to blow up the other guy's car, Mr. Get Things Done. I'm telling you, Mokul, O'Shea's behind this. Are you suggesting the Premiere is embroiled in some sort of spice neutralizer conspiracy? That's preposterous. So you're not gonna help us? Au contraire, Jimmy. I'll see this through to the end. My first step? Spending nine hours on hold with your government-sponsored insurance company. For Canada, where no-fault liability means everyone gets screwed equally! The jig's up, O'Shea. We know about your problems with Scorpion's Hive. How'd you find out? Let's just say... Ming told us. She knows? After she swore I didn't talk in my sleep? You slept with my wife? Ah, we only cuddled with me penis in her. Son of a bitch! Who gives a sh? You were married three days! I've only had this shirt three days. I still don't want him sticking his dick in it. Now give us what we want, O'Shea. Security, get in here. I've got some trash to take out. Oh, right, I'll crack a window. There's something I should tell you. My pop got enough money together to send me to Ocean Lab. <gasps> I thought we were sharing our mutual sorrows. But you were just practicing holding your breath. It's not like that, Anna. I just didn't know how to tell you. Dad warned me about privileged rich boys who try to take advantage of innocent girls. Try? No. Did? Yes. <laughs> but I like you, Anna. Yay! It's finally the apocalypse! That or it's a roving band of liberals seeking to feast on our Bibles and unborn babies. Don't be afraid to kill anyone, Petey. The Bible says it's okay more often than not. Play the numbers, son. Always play the numbers. You were right, Dad! Oh, Lord! Forgive me for tongue-kissing this heretic! <laughs> Wake up! Uh, I thought I told you girls to stay home. Aren't you glad we don't listen to you very often? Teresa followed O'Shea! He's meeting with buyers! Come on! Whoa! One more step and I get a free coffee! Everything's coming up cheech! I'll have to see the money before I can commit to anything, you cheap sleazy bastards. Oh, that's where my flashlight went. Not so fast, O'Shea! You're too late, you jackasses! It's done! You can't sell stolen property! <laughs> oh, God, listen to me. Yeah, right. <laughs> and violence never sold anything. <laughs> <laughs> this is getting weird. The deal's off. Now look what you did! You blew me chances! Screw you, O'Shea! That spice neutralizer recipe belongs to us. What the hell are you talking about, you giant bloody festering tit? I was about to sign a deal with a rival network for my own investment show, Piranha Creek. I thought you was trying to extort me. For what? If Scorpion's Hive found out about Piranha Creek before I jumped ship, they'd gnaw the flesh off the deal's meaty bones. Wait, which one of you is the piranha? It's Canadian television, Jimmy. We all are. Oh, Christ. Now I'm stuck on that low-paying show. Hey, would you look at that? Look at that indeed. Tabby's mom is looking pretty fine. How do you like?
like that, Petey. The Gupta family here was under the impression the age of Kali Yuga was ending. That's the Hindu apocalypse. Between you and me, these kooks put the mental in fundamental. Everyone knows the end of times is a Christian Armageddon. Sorry about the gunshot wound, Mr. Gupta. That's the thing with timeshare apocalypse bunkers. <laughs> They're affordable, but the scheduling's a pain in the rump. <laughs> I'll go take down the perimeter. I'm glad no one stepped on a frag mine. That could have been very messy. <laughs> Lucky I'm good at digging mass graves. Please, God, tell me that was a joke. It won't be one day. Anna, listen, I'm sorry I didn't tell you about Ocean Lab. And I'm sorry I called you a heretic. So, will I see you at school? No. Mom saw us making out, and now she wants to send me away until the baby comes. What? I know. But guess where they're sending me? I'm okay! A mine went off! Arm seems to be gone! If I pass out before we reach the hospital, be sure to refuse a transfusion! <laughs> Going somewhere, Toby? <laughs> You've come for vengeance! Make it quick! Not the face! Open casket! Who's gonna rub mother's feet? Calm down! Pull yourself together. Thank you, Jimmy. I deserve that. A and probably that, too. Now you're just doing it for fun. Stop it, Jimmy. It's my turn. Ow! You Ow! stole my yeah. formula, didn't you? Yes, at the TV studio. I knew Jimmy would quit Regina Tourism once he got rich. <laughs> I couldn't face work without my best friend in the whole wide world. <laughs> Who? Me? But I had a change of heart and left the recipe in your car. Mom insisted on coming with me. It was too late to put out the fire, so I grabbed Mom, stopped, dropped, and rolled her, and we took off. But you saved the recipe, right? No, it went up with your car. Ah, great, I'm screwed. Thanks a lot, you stupid son of a bitch. Lucky it's easy to remember. Baking soda, flour, vanilla extract, and... A dash of cumin. I don't know why that was so hard to remember, Cheech. Oh, yeah? Go on, ask me. Which one's Frodo? I have your brand new SUV courtesy of Saskatchewan Government Insurance. <gasps> Canada's worst driver. I must have left it in gear. Put on a pot of coffee, Cookie. I'm going back on hold. Yo, Cook, I got Petey on Skype. I hate it here. I've been seasick for three weeks. Don't worry, Mr. and Mrs. McDougal. I'll take care of him. I hope you kids are being good down there under the sea. Well, Mrs. McDougal, I won't lie to you. Ah, getting screwed in a submarine. It's like he's in the Navy for real. La 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 How you doing? I'm Jimmy Turncoat McDougal. I've been in Canada a while now, but there was a time when I was not so versed in its lame-ass ways. I'm confused. I thought Canada was a state, like Iowa or South America. It's a separate country attached to the top of America. Like a bad toupee or a brain tumor. Hey, gang, I asked the mess hall to prepare some authentic Canadian cuisine in anticipation of our naturalization. Ew! This is a French-Canadian dish. It's French fries, cheese curds, and... Whoa, did you say cheese turds? Curds, like curds and whey in Little Miss Muffet. I don't care who she is. She just murdered them French fries. And then someone blew a load all over them. What's the brown stuff? Looks like crap. Do they eat crap in Canada? They do not eat crap in Canada. So what do them Frenchies call this stuff? Uh, actually, it doesn't matter what it's called. Sure it does. Let's hear it. I don't want to say. Petey, you can't just roll out sh covered cheese fries and hold out on the name. Fine, it's called poutine. What was that? Uh, poutine. 
All right, it's called poutine. <laughs> I rest my case. But it ain't all bad up here. They got this fluffy, delicious taste sensation called a beaver tail. Thanks, Petey. My pleasure. Boy, those sure went fast. I'm all over it. Get the maple syrup. We'll be licking tail and eating beaver in no time. Now that we live here in vagina, if you think we're above making a few obvious beaver jokes, forget about it. Let me tell you something about a friend of ours named Jimmy. I made the wise guy and the capo with the gambini. But when he found out that they'd be whacking Uncle Cheech, he'd take the boss, he threw him from the 19th floor suite. Wasn't much along till the mob all wants him dead. So Jimmy had no choice but to talk to all the feds. The feds would say they helped if they could use him as a pawn. So he ratted out his friends and moved to Saskatchewan. Forget about it. Forget about it. Forget about it. He's a big city lawyer. He's a West Coast beachcomber. Along with their wacky special needs canine, they're two men and half a dog. That looks terrible. Is it me? Or is everything up here a crappy imitation of stuff they do better in the States? God swallow, Jimmy. Our culture is as strong as a California redwood. Uh, a BC redwood. Here's a prime example. The Canadian Football League. A true original. Adding Canadian doesn't make it original. It just makes it suck. Well, Cheech seems to like it. Hey, there's one of Ryder Nation's more dedicated fans. I wonder if this guy could be any more green. Yes. Yes, he can, folks. Ooh. Hey, Jimmy! What are you doing? You're going to Canuck football games behind my back? I go to games, I go to rub and tugs, I lead a rich and varied life, Jimbo. It's like Invasion of the Body Snatchers. You're one of them, a Canadian. But it's great. Three downs instead of four, bigger field, faster, more exciting game. You're just jealous, because I'm assimilating better than you. Fine, I'll give it a shot. Can't be worse than Canadian TV. <laughs> What the f is a great cup? I don't know why they picked Petey to work at the TV station. Don't they want someone beautiful on camera? I'm just observing for my elective credit. I'm not actually on camera. Aw, too bad, said no one but me just now, and I can't remember why. Besides, ladies love journalists. Hopefully, they love guys who sit near them as well. I don't need to tell anyone with a pulse that this weekend, Regina is hosting the Grey Cup. That's the football championship named after the fourth Earl of Grey. No one gives a sh**. Due to Sarah McLaughlin harshing everyone's buzz at last year's game, Sunday's halftime show will be Hair Metal God's Snake Hammer. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god! Call in now and sing your favorite Snake Hammer song for a chance to go to the game and meet the band. Awesome! <laughs> Nine, one, one. 911, what's your emergency? I need snake hammer tickets! Great game, Bubba. We allowed in here? Sure, I just want to say hi to the boys. Jeez! Great game, fellas. Way to take it up the middle. That's how you pound the weak side. Nice ass, Billy. Fellas, this is my nephew, Jimmy. Oh, good to meet you. Thanks, uh, Dexter. Go on now. <laughs> that all you got, boy. <clears throat> <laughs> so, we on for Saturday, fellas? Damn straight, Cheech. I told the guys if we made it into the Great Cup, I'd take them all out for dinner. Forget that. You're all coming over to our place. Who's with me? Yeah! <laughs> about to butcher a song by that band you like. Among the many losers in our snake hammer contest, this next one's so awful, it can only be a sign of the coming apocalypse. You're gonna love this. They've been playing it all afternoon. It's a rainy night on the boulevard. I know, the right? Cats getting gutted sound better than this. So kiss my ass. It's not that bad. What are you kidding? It's terrible. Oh my God, this is you. Don't you. 
dare tell anyone that's me. That was Cookie McDougal. Oh. Cookie McDougal, you are a terrible singer. Oh. <laughs> Thanks for fitting us into your busy schedule, Dexter. Hey, man, we play in the CFL. Someone say free food, we come a running. And what a running game you guys got. We gonna need it against Toronto. That's a world-class city. How's that? You ever meet someone from Toronto? Within 30 seconds, they tell you they're from a world-class city. New Yorkers have a name for Toronto. Nice try. What's going on, Cook? Stereo's broken. Who wants more six alarm chili? No thanks. I'm a vegetarian. Don't worry, this ain't real meat. It's pigeon. <gasps> Did you say pigeon? It's good, huh? I used my senior's discount at the dollar store. North Korea's finest! Oh, Christ! Jimmy, I don't feel so... Are you kidding me? Pigeon meat? Oh, I suppose His Majesty would prefer Seagull, the rich man's pigeon. That's good luck. Saskatchewan's Grey Cup dreams took a nightmarish turn today when the entire team fell violently ill. Nothing means anything anymore. I'm going home. Ah! Oh, I'm just supposed to be observing. Can I at least get some powder? <coughs> Football fans are gathered outside Wiscana Hospital on the eve of the Grey Cup. Defensive tackle Dexter Mills urged Ryder Nation not to lose faith. Please, let me die. Sources suggest the team got food poisoning at this area home. Oh, wow, that's my house. N near that house where the bloodthirsty mob has gathered. Ah, poor Jimmy can't catch a break. Jesus Christ, Chief! Ow! What the hell? Oh, sorry, Jimmy. I thought you was one of them nut jobs trying to get in. Ah! Ow! Good Lord! Jimmy, Cheech, what the heck? What are you doing in here, McCool? You should be outside getting them lunatics off my sidewalk. Jimmy, if you thought crossing the Mafia was dangerous, wait until Ryder Nation sobers up enough to get their hands on you. Excuse my French, but c'est un gros problème! I got no idea what you just said. Well, get used to it, because that's what you'll be hearing when I put you in double witness protection in Northern Quebec! Ooh, those guys hate Canada as much as we do. <laughs> if we forfeit, you die. Sincerely, the people of Saskatchewan. P.S. Sorry about the window. We enclosed a check for the cost of replacement. I think this is for you. No one politely threatens me. <laughs> Make sure he gets his ball back. <laughs> Great catch, Jimmy. <laughs> Great throw, McCool. Great chili cheese. <laughs> McCool, excuse my French, but I ain't f***ing moving to Quebec. Ma, you gotta snap out of this. What? I can't hear ya. I can't hear anything. It's great. Ew, those are Cheech's sex pillows. <laughs> you can't hide here forever. This is the only place I'm safe from that freaking song. And those angry Snake Hammer fans outside. Don't worry, they're just here to kill Pop for wrecking the gay cup. My oh, that I song! I Teresa, have a heart. Running, Put it on vibrate and fire. miss a call. Uh, Ma! Just calm down! <gasps> oh, crap. <laughs> nice shirts. I got a truckload of them. What's your size? Oh! <laughs>
Cheech and I assembled a team to take the rider's spot in the Grey Cup. <laughs> yes, of course you have. Very good. You do tickle my funny bone, Jimmy. I'm serious. This is the only chance we got to get people on our side. And to keep them from crapping in our mailbox. That's my toilet. <laughs> You'll be slaughtered, like Cookie slaughtered that song on the radio. The alternative is we throw Cheech to the fans and they rip them to pieces. It's good to have options. Primero O'Shea's playing slot back. Mayor Schwashwa's tight end. There's one spot left to fill, McCool, and it's gotta be you. With your arm and my smarts, we can't lose. Would that I could, but I cannot. I once had a promising football career, but that was all before the injury. A concussion so severe, for weeks I thought I was a late-night talk show sidekick. So this football player walks into a bar. Ouch! hey -o! Who's with me? I'm sorry, gentlemen. I cannot risk another concussion to help you in this ludicrous endeavor. Fine, we'll do it without you. I'll be damned if the Grey Cup gets canceled on my watch. Give me a grand on the Argos. What do you mean, no? Screw you, Gina! Despite unseasonably warm minus 35 temperatures, the stands at Grey Cup are empty. Regina will be out to forfeit momentarily, so I will have the evening free. Ladies, wait! A group of middle-aged men posing as the Rough Riders are taking the field. And here come the Toronto Argonauts. World class city, world class city, world class city, world class city. Bet you wish you ate my chili now. Oh boy, my dad is screwed. Okay, so they're big. Does that make them better than us? Yes. So they're pro athletes. Does that make them better than us? Yes. So they're highly skilled. Hang on, let me rethink this. But I knew most of the answers. When you guys are out there getting pulverized, I want you to remember what we're playing for. Endorsement deals? Right of pride! We're not gonna stand by and be the first team to ever forfeit a Grey Cup! Who's with me? <laughs> Bit of a mixed message, but I'll take it! Hey, lady, what you doing with my mother? I am your mother, Gina, and it's time I started acting like it. Is this about that horrible song, Ma? Because if it is, you're overreacting. Snake Hammer was fine when I was in my teens, but I'm a grown-up lady now, and you know what it says in the Bible. Oh, oh, wait, I notice. Uh, Jesus throws a big dinner party? Yeah, and one of the Jonas brothers betrays him for 30 peanuts of silver. No, it says you have to put away childish things, like rock albums and hopes and dreams. And you two are so going to Bible camp. Ma, you think you're a failure, but you've gone viral. That was 20 years ago, and penicillin took care of it. No, no, like that video of the toddler with the shotgun, or the girl who plays trumpet with her butt. Flattering as that is, I think I'm going to stick to being an adult from now on. No more snake hammer. Oh my god, is he copperhead from snake hammer? I'm looking for the chick who mangled our song. Here she is. World class city! <laughs> okay, so far so good. It's our ball and nobody's dead. Come on, Jimmy, let me be quarterback. Shut up, I'm quarterback. But I got this play worked out. It's a sure thing. Never see it coming. Let's keep that one in our back pockets for later. Yeah! 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 You weren't going to start this party without me, were you? What changed your mind? You did, Jimmy. You stood tall while others kneeled. 
in front of the toilet, yakking their guts out. Come here, you crazy son of a bitch. <laughs> if you guys are done choking each other's chickens, we got some football to play. Your call, McCool. Fast and loose on two. Hey! Okay, McCool? Is your conditioner making you impotent? Find out after the break. And we're back. This Rider B squad sure has heart. In fact, I see one of their hearts on the field now. And an Argo player just ate it. There's a hearty meal, am I right? You're not supposed to be up here. Terrific. Lucky we still got this guy, the only Rough Rider you didn't almost kill with your chili. Cause he's a vegetable. You mean vegetarian. Hi! <laughs> now he's a vegetable. At the half, the stadium appears to be filling up as fans get behind this ragtag bunch. Or maybe they're just here for Snake Hammer. I hear the lead singer had a few too many backstage. He got snake hammered. Is this thing on? <laughs> Sometimes in life, you take a few knocks, but you gotta get back up and give what you got. This little lady right here took a beat and didn't let it get her down. Put your hands together for Cookie! What's her name? Ever her name? It's a rainy night on the boulevard. My socks are squishy, my life is hard. My nose is runny, but I'm a fighter. Kiss my ass and raise your life. Good for you, Cook. Good for you. <laughs> We're done, Jimmy. It's time to throw in the towel. I'll do it. Just show me where they keep the towels. You want to give up? Lie down and die like stinking dogs? No. I just want to go home. Why are you going to make us sound so ugly? Those people out there are starting to believe in us. We give up now. We're giving up on them. And ourselves. And all the kids who dream of playing in a league full of guys who couldn't cut it in the NFL. Those Argo nutsacks got you believing that you ain't good enough that you ain't world class. Well, I say they're wrong. And if you agree with me, I'll see you on the field. Who's with me? So, we going for ribs or what? <sighs> and we're back for the second half. Wow, my mom performed at halftime, my dad's on the team. Which one'd you blow to get this job? Hey! Pay yourself, give me something I can use. I'm dying here. Jimmy! Cheech! My speech worked? God no. You my ride home. Let's hit him where it hurts. It's time to get in their heads. How do we do that? Tiny submarine? World class city! No. Here's what we're gonna do. Yo, number 10! It's the NFL calling for you. Really? Nah, of course not, you suck. <laughs> hey! <laughs> so, when's the last time Toronto hosted the Olympics? Well, never, but we had the Pan Am Games. Hey! Pan Am Games? That's cute. Two subway lines? You're about as world class as Cleveland. Hey! hey. <laughs> This gutsy performance has brought Rider Nation back. It doesn't get more exciting than this. I am so hard right now. Hey, world-class sh**. Is the CN Tower still the tallest building in the world? Well, no, but... I'm feeling something, Cheech. Something I ain't felt since we moved up here. Internal bleeding? No, it's pride. All right. Let's finish this. Hey, nuts! How many years since the Leafs won the cup? Oh. <laughs> 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 
Shouldn't someone tell him we lost? Sure, we lost, but look at Toronto. They're miserable. World class city! World class city! Come on, guys! World class city! Shut up, Doug. But Jimmy, we still lost the game. So what? It's a, what do you call it? Moral victory. But we lost! It's not about winning or losing. It's how you play the game. Oh, God. You're one of them. You turned Canadian. <gasps> Don't forget, tonight's game will be followed by the second and final episode of Two Men and Half a Dog. I love that show. La 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 Saskatchewan, la 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 I used to be Jimmy Falcone, a capo in the New York crime family. That's like a vice president of an important company like IBM or Hooters. But now I'm Jimmy McDougal, because I'm in witness protection, living like a schnook in Canada. See, a while back, I got word that the bosses put out a contract on my Uncle Cheech. Poor guy's been hit on the head a few too many times. He was blabbing about all our best stuff. The Hoffa thing, the Kennedy thing, Scientology. I had to do something. So. I got me a sit down with the boss. Cheech made him a buttload of money over the years, so I figured I could appeal to the man's soft side. You are so f He was right. I was f I don't know about your business, but in mine, you can't whack a boss. Oh, Rocco, Fatso, Big Nose, long time. How you punks doing? No crap. The organization went nuts. These were my best friends from grade school coming after me. We used to shake down the homeless together just for kicks. I never thought they'd grow up to be so mean. I mean, I had just gotten those windows reinstalled and these sons of bitches knew it. I didn't know what to do, where to go, who to trust. So I crossed over to the dark side. Play ball with us, Jimmy. Help us lock away your cronies and we'll protect you. We'll put you somewhere they'll never find you. Somewhere they won't even think to look. Somewhere far. And remote. And cold. Very cold. Excuse me. Why's it gotta be cold? Because cold sucks and we don't like you. I see the logic in that. So that's what I did. Ratted out everyone I knew so that my children could grow up with a father that ain't dead. And that's how we came to be living here. In Vagina, Saskatchewan. That's Regina, you freaking moron! Potato, potato! Quit busting my balls, I'm talking here! That's my wife, Cookie. She's a pain in the ass, but I gotta say I love her. You know, cause she's standing right here. Anyway, if any of you think that starting a new life in Vagina... Regina? ...is gonna change the Falcons... McDougals. Forget about it! Let me tell you something about a friend of ours named Jimmy I made the wise guy and the couple with the Gambini But when he found out that they'd be whacking Uncle Cheech He'd take the boss, he threw him from the 19th floor suite Wasn't much along till the mob all went in dead So Jimmy had no choice but to talk to all the feds The feds say they helped him, they could use him as a pawn So he ratted out his friends and moved to Saskatchewan Forget about it! Forget about it! Forget about it! Run it by me again. Canada's bigger, but they got 10 states, not 50. They call them provinces, but yeah, 10 provinces. What did they do with the other 40? Why are you asking me? They're freaking retards. Their dollar's a freaking coin. And no one knows what it's worth. Sometimes 80 cents, others 90. They say sometimes their dollar's worth more than a dollar. That don't even make no sense. <laughs> sorry. See that? You cut that chick off and she's sorry. What do you gotta do to get a finger around here? Ah. There's our little angel. You believe these guys staring at me like a piece of meat? But do they hit on me? No. They're such chickens. What's so scary about me? I'm pretty, I'm nice, and if they just told me what they wanted, I'd do it. You'd better be joking, Teresa Maria. And even if you are, I don't want to hear it. God has given you something sacred, and you're going to keep it to yourself until you get a ring. And as far as why they're afraid to talk to you, I have no idea. 
Look, sweetheart, you can't blame these boys for having no balls. They was born and raised in vagina. Where's your brother? Oh, there he is. Look at him, Jimmy. He's making friends. If I don't pass my English paper, I'm off the curling team. So you're gonna write it for me, McDougal. I'm sorry, Gus, but that's cheating. <laughs> what do you think now, eh? Pretty sure it's still cheating. Afraid I can't let you do that, Jimmy. It'll bring too much attention upon yourself. But having a cop in a red suit up my ass 24-7 is gonna make me blend? Point taken, I'll bring it up at the next briefing. Uh, 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 what did we say? Come on, they're killing him. How's beating him to a pulp gonna blow my cover? It's what any father or but single mother would do. Again, point taken, wait here. Gentlemen, is there a problem? Just playing, officer. Teaching him hockey, eh? Move it around. Eating lunch. Liars! They're beating me up because I won't do their homework. Oh my god, he's spilling the beans to a cop. He's turned into a rat, a squealer, a stoolie. Oh, what a horrible role model I've been. Thank you for your honesty, young man. As for the rest of you, if this happens again, justice will be swift and severe. Well, not so much severe as compassionate. And not swift at all. But our judges are appointed for life, and that can't be good for you. Now, on your way. You see, Jimmy, the matter was handled peacefully with words and idle threats. That's how we do it here in the Great White North. When you grasp that fact, your true assimilation will begin. For Canada! And whatever she stands for! I don't get it. Why don't you fight back these bastards? Hey, language! I mean, why don't you fight back these children born out of wedlock? As Gandhi said, violence never solves anything. Petey, my whole life is based on solving problems with violence. I'm not like you, Pop. I'm not a Neanderthal. Course not. We're Italian. I mean caveman, Pop. Anthropology? Uh, language. I'm finished. Can I go puke now? Where are your manners, young lady? You will wait till the rest of us are done, and then you can go puke. Evening all. Oh, great shiner kid, way to go. It's a beaut. I know, I know, I should see the other guy. No, he's fine, actually. I'm ashamed of you, I spit on you. Petey's getting picked on at school. Oh, in that case, kid, what you need to learn is the sweet science. Oh, great science. They just did anthropology. Can I please <sighs> go puke? No. But if I wait too long, the food will digest. And then puking won't do me any good at all. That's just the risk you'll have to take. And I'm growing very weary of this attitude, Teresa Maria. Fine. God. Guys, sweet science. It's nothing to do with science. I'm talking about boxing. Like I learned you when you was a kid, Jimmy. Remember? You was a kind and gentle teacher, Cheech. I still remember the first time I beat a kid into a coma. I made a man out of you. I can make a man out of the kid. We'll take them down to the gym tomorrow. We'll learn them a few moves. Can I come? Nah, they don't let broads in gyms. Go, run, make me a sandwich. Gina, honey, what is this drawing supposed to be? What, are you blind? It's me, sticking Cheech's head in a bear trap. But why, sweetheart? Okay, this all started because Cheech was mouthing off. If he got dead, they'd let us back in New York. Oh, honey, that's so sweet. But your daddy sung like a canary. The mob wants him dead way more than your uncle. We're stuck here in Canada for good, so we just better get used to it. A. A. Jeez, why won't the kid hit back? He's a mutton for punishment. He's just warming up, don't worry. Under all that tree hug and love your fellow man atheism lies a son of the Roman Empire, a true falcon. Shh. Blend. A son of the Roman Empire, a true McDougal. What the f are you looking at? I'll gouge out your f eyeballs, I'll f in your f skull. Nice blend. Petey, my son! You suck at this! I never wanted to box, Pop. You made me box. But this ain't boxing. Boxing is two guys hitting each other. One guy hitting another is assault. I guess no one will be saving your whale friends now, eh? Who's up for a blubber sandwich? What did you say? I said I like my whales chopped up in a little itty bitty fish sticks. Whales are mammals, you imbecile! <laughs> Fish. Look at that, Jimmy. 
Petey made the kids sleep with the fishes. It was fun. I didn't care so much for the part where he was pummeling me, but I really loved the end part where I got to hit him. Seems we found the kid's trigger. What do you mean, trigger? Like how you get when somebody says Pacino's better than De Niro. I just want to kill him! Although, Scent of a Woman was a fine performance. Who said that? I'll kill him! But that's how Petey gets when somebody makes fun of that women have the right to vote crap that he's into. I'm sorry, Uncle Cheech. I don't know what came over me. You see what I mean? You're a killer, kid. Don't never apologize. Okay, sorry. I gotta say, he's assimilating the Canada better than any of us. And you, save it for the next fight. What next fight? I'm signing you up for a real amateur fight. With this trigger of yours, we're gonna make a mint. I don't know, violence is wrong. But I did kind of like it. Ah, the sweet science of rationalization. Okay, I'll do it, but on one condition. Half the proceeds gotta go to Doctors Without Borders, and the other half to an internist. Cause I think I'm bleeding internally. Relax, son, they got socialized medicine up here. We can keep it all! <laughs> <laughs> Mommy, can I talk to you? I know how Daddy feels about me dating, but there's this boy at school I really, really like, and he likes me. And it's not fair that I can't ever go out with anybody. Don't worry, baby. Of course you can see this boy. We'll just keep it all a little secret. So, tell me about him. What's this boy's name? Mr. Henderson. What? He's so cool. He changed my F to a C. He said he couldn't make it an A because it would be too suspicious. So to make it up to me, he gave me this. Teresa Maria, you are not sleeping with your teacher. Of course I'm not. God! I'm just letting him think I will to get better grades and jewelry. What are you, crazy? You will end this relationship immediately. First you say yes, now you say no. You're such a hypocrite, I hate you! Oh, diamonds. All I ever got for fooling around with a teacher was an A. Yeah, me too. But then, I went to Catholic school. stopping him. You know, I'm reading up on this kid Petey's fighting next. He's the top kid in the province. A real killer. Eh, you don't look so tough. Okay, he's tough. But it don't matter. Petey can take him. Well, you fix a lot more fights than me. I'll take your word for it. Look at him out there. Getting in shape. Getting some confidence. Becoming a man. Just like his dad. Oh, <laughs> Is that a sausage in your pocket, or are you just glad to see me? <laughs> nah, it's a sausage. Hey, don't look at me. He who smelt it dealt it. Who do you want me to rat out now? Jimmy, your son has to lose his next fight. What? No chance. The kid's a natural. He can go all the way. That's the problem. Petey is an unknown fighting the top-ranked boy in the province. If he wins, it's news. His picture will be in the paper, your enemies will see it and find you. To make matters worse, purposely achieving notoriety is a drastic violation of your witness protection agreement. We will no longer be authorized or permitted to protect you. Oh, I thought you just wanted a piece of the action. You'll be on your own, Jimmy. Just when you need our help most. Come on, lighten up! It's just a kid's boxing match. Look. I know you Canadians ain't into boxing because you're all peaceable with your clean air and apologizing all the time Stop and... Stop right there, sir. I'll have you know that during World War II, the Canadian Army gained more land mass per individual soldier than any other army. Secondly, our major metropolitan areas are just as polluted, dirty, and disgusting as anything you have south of the border. Don't tell me we got clean air, buddy. And in terms of apologizing, well, perhaps I did overreact, and for that I'm sorry. I'll never get vagina. The boy can't win, Jimmy. Simple as that. So do yourself a favor. For once in your life, follow the rules. For Canada! And whatever she stands for! Are you all right? Petey's got a forfeit. It's gonna crush him. How do I tell my little boy he's gotta stop doing the only thing he's ever been good at? Get him drunk and a couple of whores. You'll be okay with it. I'm proud of you, Petey. You finally found something you're good at. Pop, I'm a straight-A student. I meant something that matters. But, son, tomorrow's fight. You can't win. I can, Pop! I trained hard! No, Petey, that's not what I mean. It's just that... 
Okay, look. I don't think you know the real reason we came to Vagina, and it's time you knew the truth. So it's not because you threw your mob boss out of a 19-story window, then ratted out all your lifelong friends to save you behind like a whiny little schoolgirl? Okay, so you do know. But if you win, the feds will take away our protection and the mob will find us. What? Petey, you gotta do the right thing here. You gotta show some balls. Be a quitter. I only got into boxing to make you proud of me. But you don't want to be proud of me. You never did. Petey. I could be a contender, Pop, instead of a geek, which is what I am. No, it's bum instead of a bum, which is what... Oh, you mean you. You're not quoting the movie. You're the geek. That's very clever. Stop the car. Where are you going? I'm going to the gym to train. I'm going to fight this fight with no help from you and no trigger. I've sharpened my mind and honed my instincts, and nothing will stop me. You ready for this? That's my smartest kid. You always gotta outdo me, don't ya? Puking is my thing. You got the nerd thing, and the politically correct thing, and now the boxing thing. All I got is bulimia, and you gotta take that away from me? Now I got nothing! I hate you! Next! What have I done? Why so glum, Jimmy boy? Our problems are solved. They are? That's great! How? I just placed our bet. Petey's going down, and we're the only ones who know about it. <laughs> Jimmy, you said the kid was gonna forfeit. Yeah, but he ain't. Where'd you get the money, anyhow? I used the nest egg. You idiot! That's all the money I saved from the old life. Now he's gonna be on the lamb and broke. Jimmy, we won't be broke. We can't lose. As long as we don't pull the trigger on the kid, he's gonna get pulverized. That's my son, you moron! Your nephew! You want him to get pulverized? Well, it is a lot of money. Okay, okay. Then we gotta change the kid's mind. I tried. He won't listen to reason. Then we lean on him old school, threaten his family. This time I ain't letting you up. Daddy! Daddy! Be right in, princess. I gotta go talk to my little girl. You stay here and finish the job. You mean, drown myself? Why would I? Hey, I do stuff for you all the time. I ask this one little thing. Okay, okay. You don't gotta make a federal case out of it. <laughs> What's the matter, princess? Got a problem? Well, let's say someone had an uncle and they wanted to whack him. But their mom said they can't, cause- Sweetie, you still looking to whack your uncle, Cheech? That won't help nothing. No, no, not me. This is for a friend of mine, um, Nancy. And, and she wants to whack her uncle, uh, Nancy. And she asked me for advice, so I said I'd ask my dad, because he's the smartest guy in the whole world when it comes to whacking people. And the handsomest. Sweetie, it's not about looks, but thank you. The important thing is, I get assigned a hit, someone's getting it up the Asti Spamanti. <laughs> Jimmy, language. What? It's not like I said You just did. No, I didn't. I said Asti Spamanti. You said after that, you mother c ass. Cookie, you're breaking my Swear in front of our little girl again, I will cut your balls off and stick them up your ass. I don't want to raise no party mouth. Okay! Gina, Daddy, sorry. But it's good you came to me with this thing. Remember, family is the only thing you can count on. Can I at least? No. I hate you! I can't believe we're in this mess. There's got to be a way to fix it. Think! What would Don Gambini do? Are you kidding? He'd whack the kid, whack the Mountie, then have a nice Chianti with his showgirl mistress. Yeah, he was a great man. Funny how you only come to appreciate someone after you kill him. Where the hell's Petey? Gina told me what he's about to do. No way I'm gonna let him fight that kid. He'll get killed. Well, you know, maybe just crippled. Petey, get your dumb ass out here. We're going home. Why didn't I come up with that? A2 Brute? Yeah, me friggin' Brute. Get your ass in the car. No, Mother, I'm doing this. I don't need a trigger. I don't need anyone. I'll win on my own, and Mother, I'm very disappointed in your Latin. Petey, wait! You can't go out there. You'll get killed. I know I've been a bitch lately. Go on. That's all. You know what burns me? At the apex of my moment of glory, you're all trying to stop me. So, if none of you care about my needs, why should I care about yours? What a drama queen. Fall down, you 
friggin' moron! Is that a way to talk to your son? Well, then you say something! Fall down and count to ten, you friggin' moron! No! Wait two more rounds! We make an extra C note if he goes down in the third. You just couldn't let him whack him, could you? No, you had to be the big man and fix it all. Oh, big man, you're such a big man, big man! Okay, I screwed up! He should be dead, and it's my fault that he's not. Can we let it go already? You guys do know that I'm standing right here, right? Baby, I can't take this no more. I can't take this no more, neither. We good? We good. We're in this together. Always have been, always will. Hate crime legislation is for pussies! No! We must protect minorities. We must punish those who kill because of skin color or sexual orientation. But wait, murder is already a punishable offense. So hate crime laws aren't punishing the act, but the thought. But the state shouldn't be allowed to decide what are appropriate thoughts. The persecuted minorities need our protection. But we must keep the state out of our heads. I don't know. Could it be that not everything is black and white? That we all must, from time to time, listen to opposing points of view? I don't know. I don't know. Eh, what the heck. Took a dive! He lost! I couldn't be more. Just give me a second, turn away. And justice is served. Sort of. I think. No, it is. It's okay. Good job, me! Gotta hand it to you, Petey. You stood up to everyone, including me. Even scarier than that, your mother. But in the end, you came through and you cheated. For the family. I just realized that, as Khan said, there's a moral shade of gray in which we all must consider how other people- Hey, we don't really care about the thought process. We're proud, so just leave it there and shut up. Petey, I never doubted you. You're my big brother, and I always count on you to do the right thing. So I bet on you to win, you dumb wop. Every penny I had. <laughs> <laughs> and that's our story. Pretty good, huh? But if you think that's the only story we got, us Falcones living as McDougals in the great municipality of Vagina, well, forget about it. Daddy, that's such a cheesy ending. I'm just trying to get him back for next week. You want to get him back for next week? Here's how you get him back for next week. What are you, crazy? Go to your room! God! That's, like, so unfair! La 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 la